so are you half fish half macadamia nut? Also 3 months won't won't.
Bada bing, bada boom. Jackademia, go and step in the room. What's up? Hi, people. Hi. What's up, Flinko? Pickle Goose? Goonhead? Olive? Blaze Cat? Yo, what's up? Uh, Galosia, thanks so much for the resub. I just saw this. How are you half fish, half macadamia nut? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm f part fish, but I'm really I'm whatever you want me to be. I could be your fish. I could be your nut. I could be your cat, if you know what I mean. I could be anything you want me to be, baby. <laughs> Hi, meow. Hi, uh, Planted Kingdom. Hi, uh, doesn't. Is the hide not working? Wait, I don't know if I heard it. Maybe my headphones are just a little loud. Did you guys hear the hi? Hi, Kowalski. Yo, is that Julia? Julia. Hi, Ghoulie. <laughs> Hello, hi. What's going on? Skylar's here, the Weedle. Nope, you didn't hear it. Oh, no. Is that not working? Oh. I know why, because I'm a doofus. I'm a doofus, I forgot to open up Leorin board. Leorin board. Hold on, it's gonna connect. Okay, it's connected. All right, and now they should work. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Hi, Sonus. Jacko and board at work, help. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hi, Fiona. <laughs> Um, well, Julia, I'm just gonna be doing some art and playing some uh, video game music, and then after that, I'm gonna be playing some Mario Galaxy. I have to finish some stuff. Oh no! Uh, for Mads, you know, my boss. Ah, <laughs> my friend and boss, my Frost, my Frost. Get Mads. I have to finish some stuff for him. Um. I don't know if I'll finish them completely, but I want to get, like, some more of it done. I've worked on it for, like, two hours today. I want to at least get in, like, another hour. Just working on it. So, yeah. I love art. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Yo, Samuel. <laughs> What's up? And also, hi, Myru. Your Wendy's Frosty. That would be pretty good. Oh, honestly, I think Wendy's is, like overrated you, you know what i mean like i feel like you always hear about wendy's and people are always like yeah wendy's is so good but every time i've gone there i've never been like that satisfied i was just like eh. it was like pretty good i don't know it's all right <laughs> it's no it's no five guys it's no shake shack i guess it's probably slightly better than like mcdonald's and stuff but even then i don't know i feel like mcdonald's they've been kind of stepping up their game a bit a little bit i don't know <laughs> they're just not as memeable i don't know what they have the streak around anymore you decide uh i'll say we're on day five so i don't know why this song isn't going i'm gonna skip it probably day five well we'll just say it's day five because I, I like the number five Wendy's so good though. I don't know. The first time I ever had Wendy's, I was like excited for it because I was like, I've never had Wendy's, but also I had had hot chocolate earlier in the day and I wound up burning my tongue and then I couldn't even taste it. Like I just had the the burnt tongue, the numb tongue, the nung, and I couldn't, I couldn't taste it. It was awful. It was torture. But then after that, I've gotten it a few times. I mean, I guess the burgers are pretty good, but like they're, I don't like their shakes that much. Their shakes aren't that good. The shakes are like, all right. <laughs> this is getting too political. Listen, Wendy's is going down, you goddamn Wendy lovers. You're all going down. <laughs> Wendy's nuts. Yo, what's up, Jordan? <laughs> Wendy's nuts. Ha! 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 Got him. I haven't been to Wendy's in a while. Yeah, I haven't been in a while either. Like, last time I went was probably like at least two years ago. Probably. Yeah, probably at least two years ago. Maybe even more. I don't even know if I've been to a Wendy's since college. So it might it might have been like four years ago. Well, we'll say... We'll just say I haven't been to a Wendy's in like three years. So maybe my taste buds have matured and maybe now I would appreciate a Wendy's blurger on my big fat tongue. 
What if this was a tongue the whole time? It wasn't actually my mouth. It was just blah, 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 a tongue. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Wendy's frosty. But what about what about um? But what about what am I just trying to say? What about uh, a blizzard from Dairy Queen? <laughs> I always get blizzards from Dairy Queen. Like, it's become a tradition between me and my friend Taco. Oh, no. That one, uh, Protogen, thanks so much for the follow. We go and we get a, a blizzard, like, once a week. Although, we didn't go for, like, the past, like, three or four weeks. But before that, we were going, like, once a week. Uh, just for fun. <laughs> Comparing apples to oranges? I mean, I don't know. They're both, like, ice cream things in cups that are blended. In a, in a way. They serve different functions, but they're both desserts. They're both ice cream desserts. Also, Boshamo, you're 45% allergic to me? Oh my god. Good thing you're wearing over 50. If you're over 50, I'd have to ban you immediately. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I made a new uh, chat command. Exclamation point. Allergic. You can find out how allergic you are to nuts. Or just to me, specifically, actually. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! All right, if you get if you get a hundred percent, I have no choice but to ban you. <laughs> I wouldn't actually, but it'd be funny. Well, you know, maybe I would. <laughs> you never know. Just be careful. There might be a little bit of a cooldown on it, so you might have to, you know, wait a second. Yo, Webster, what's up? Okay, only thirty-seven percent. Okay, that's good. That's good. A little over a third, which is, you know, not, not, well, not the greatest, but, you know, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Howdy, Webster. What's up? Stretching my body. Yeah, there, there's like a little bit of a cooldown. You might have to wait like five seconds after the last person did it. Oh no, Meowie, you're 60%. That's probably because you, you're you always here on the streams. I really appreciate that. But you know, the, the more you hang out with me, the more allergic you get. It's just, you know how they say like the second reaction is usually worse than the first one? That's that's the, you know, <laughs> that's the, the law of existence. Adrian the Random, thanks for the follow. Watching your, your stream aware. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, awesome. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. I'm just imagining like your boss just like patrolling around and you're you just got a Jackadamia stream just like in full screen. <laughs> I know you probably don't have it. You probably have it in like another tab or whatever. But that that'd be funny. <laughs> oh my god. 99%! Oh my god. Oh no! Illustrations by Ryan! You're so close to instant death. <laughs> you know, that just shows how lucky you are. We've been, you know, you've been hanging out, um, and you haven't died yet, so that 1% is saving your life. <laughs> Golly! Golly! Stun Seed. Really? Have you ever had a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie from Subway? No. Not from Subway, but I've had white chocolate macadamia nut cookies from like those, you know, like those, not really fancy, but like those pretty good like cookie packs that you could buy at like Stop and Shop or whatever. They're like in like that little plastic, uh, not a tin, it's like a little plastic container and see-through, but it's just got, it's got like chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal cookies, and then the white chocolate macadamia cookies. I usually have those ones. Those ones are good. It's a lockdown. You've caught these nuts. <laughs> it's probably the most I've ever said these nuts. <laughs> Got him. All right. Hmm. Art mode. Oh my God! It's a plum blob. It's a plum blob. 
I had no idea that these things were called plumb bobs. The little, uh, like, prisms from The Sims. I don't know why they're called that. Rosie Draws, good afternoon, how are you doing? I don't like Subway, I find the ads disturbing. The food, pretty normal. One thing I enjoy is how it has been sued by for footlongs not being footlong. <laughs> were, were they actually sued for that? I don't really like, um, I don't really like Subway either. I, I mean, I don't like Subway for probably a very different reason. I don't like Subway because I'll go there and then I'll get overwhelmed by like all the options. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, I don't know what I want. And then I wind up not being able to like decide. I'm just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Like, ah, like I'm bad enough at just ordering a normal thing off a menu, but now I have to like pick each individual ingredient. Like. I'd probably be better now because I have more sandwich experience than I did the last time I went to Subway, but like, I would just be like, ah, I don't know what I want. And then I'd wind up getting the meatball sub, <laughs> which was just like, okay. It was just, it's an okay meatball sub. It's not like amazing. It's kind of soggy most of the time. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think Subway's that good. I feel like they don't give you that much. They don't give you that much meat. And uh, I want the meat. I, I want the meat. That's what I want. So I was walking down the Las Vegas Strip and I saw someone that looked just like you. Well, you should punch him and see if I feel it. Like next time you see that guy. <laughs> see if we're like connected and we never do. Like, you know, when you get random body pains, do you ever wonder like, maybe it's because my doppelganger is spiritually connected to me and uh, they just fell down the stairs or something. And that's why my knee hurts. <laughs> I like it, the meatball sub. Hi, Chris. Do you like the meatball sub from Subway? Because, like, I mean, it's not, like, it's not the worst thing ever. I'll give it that. But, like, it's always kind of, for me, it's always been a little soggy. I'm like, I don't <laughs> My mom will make meatball subs sometimes. And when she makes them, like, the bread's, like, a bit more crispy. And, like, it's better bread. Uh, and it's the better meatball sub. <laughs> Maybe I have too much meatball. I have too much meatball sub experience. I'm too uh, I'm too meatball uh, knowledgeable. I don't know. <laughs> My mom doesn't make meatball subs. See, that's that's probably why. Yeah, like if you hadn't had a good meatball sub, you yeah, I think I because like I did like them. I liked those meatball subs. That's why I always got them. But then when I had like. A homemade meatball sub so my mom started making them i was like yo wait this is so much better <laughs> now i have no reason to go to subway i just love meatballs man yeah man hi fizzy dog thanks so much for the follow uh and hi heroin hi catwire stop stop it <laughs> for want the meats <laughs> Go to Arby's. Ow. Ah, I just did the thing where I... Ow. I pulled the headphones out of my ears. Ow. By the wire. Oh, man. I gotta stretch. Please, God, thanks. Sir. Ah. Huh. Alright. <laughs> Arby's. We have the meats. Has anyone in chat been to Arby's? I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone who's gone to an Arby's. I have. You have me. Two people. Three people. Whoa. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Kinda of sucks. One time. Arby's. Arby's. It was okay. Okay. What I'm getting is that it's it's like alright. And that you've only gone people have only gone once or a long time ago. <laughs> Arby's nuts. <laughs> Arby's nuts. Oh my god. I only like the mac and cheese. So you don't even go for the meat. That's like me and Subway going to get a 
meatball sub <laughs> instead of a cold cut sandwich. Uh, what do I use for animation? I use Toon Boom. All right, so what I'm drawing right now is um, an assortment of things, of items uh, for Mads' next video that he wants to get up on Friday. So I've been uh, I've been uh, working on this. I sketched out all these things earlier. I don't know if I'm gonna completely do this. I think okay, I'll probably I'll probably do these. I gotta draw some Lacroix. Like, Lacroix. Lacroix. I don't even know how to say that. Lacroix. Lick. I gotta draw some Lacroix. Um. I have to draw an NES cart. And I got to choose the games. I chose Kirby's Adventure. Um. And I gotta make a Plum Bob. And then I also have to do some characters. Which I was working on. Here's like a seagull. Uh, I don't know if this is the final seagull that'll do, but I like I like this drawing. I think it's a good drawing. Um, what else is there? I also gotta make I gotta make Claire from um, Short Hike. I also have to make uh, this other character Alba from I forget what the new game's called. It's like Alba's Alba's something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm like. I like I like how these sketches are looking, but I'm not I'm not gonna do these on stream. I'm just gonna do the objects. A seagull, yeah. Oops, aren't aren't seagulls like your favorite bird? Or maybe not seagulls specifically, but just gulls. Oh yeah, Alba's Wildlife Adventure. That's what it's called. Al D's nuts. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Goals are your favorite birds. Are there other kind of like goals besides seagulls? Are there like, <laughs> are there bagels? <laughs> bagels? <laughs> or what about, uh, I can't think of any other seagull puns. <laughs> CD's nuts. <laughs> Got him. Chom these nuts, what? <laughs> They're actually not really seagulls. Portugals? Oh, uh, that's a good one. That's good. Gargle these nuts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> gold bladders. I wish I had a gold bladder. Like, I wish my bladder was actually just a, a gull inside my body. <laughs> kind of funny. That'd be kind of funny. Actually, it'd probably be really horrific and awful. So, maybe not. I, I kind of take that back a little bit. I'm seven ah. these nuts in your mouth. I'm seven these nuts in your mouth. Samuel Jenkins, thanks so much for the Prime sub for six months. Holy shit. What? That's six months. That's, that's half a year. I really need to make sub badges. I finally thought of what I might do. I have two ideas. I'm either going to make them like different colored leaves or like different kinds of leaves um or i'm gonna do different kinds of nuts i was thinking different kinds of nuts but the thing with nuts is that they're all like brown or like tan or like tan with a little bit of green so they're not really that like they don't pop out as badges so i think i might do leaves different kinds of leaves like 16 or more species of goals in the United States. Wow. I like those goals um that have like black heads. I've been noticing them at like the beaches uh over the past like few years or something. But I don't I never remember them from when I was a kid, but now there's like goals with like black heads. I don't know if they're goals, they might be a different kind of bird. But or maybe that's just like normal. Or maybe I just never noticed before. <clears throat> They're pretty cool. Everyone, thanks for the pe 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 for the pets. I see them now too. Yeah, we're we're the we got to keep an eye out on the the flora and fauna of Long Island. We're we're the birders of Li, <laughs> the blurters. We'll keep the world updated because no one else lives here. 
Okay, um, so these are, these are the sketches. Let's see sketch. Franklin's goals, Bonaparte's goals, laughing goals. Thingles. Okay, new mission in life. Discover a new goal, and then just name it something. Name it the bagel. <laughs> that's my that's my mission in life. Discover a new goal. There's one. There is one called the black-headed goal. Oh. <laughs> it's my new life's purpose. New life's purpose. Okay. Um. Name this layer pot. Zinchin, yo! It's my. <laughs> it's your goal in life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that deserves. That deserves uh, a king laugh. Who's who's on it? Who's on it? Am I on it? I might be on it. <laughs> My goal, goal. <laughs> Yo, thanks, meowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the goal, goal. I actually thought... <laughs> Gotta go, I'll catch you later. Bye, Julia. Thanks for stopping in. Enjoy. I hope you survive the rest of your work day. Salted Water 4, thanks for the follow. Um, What was I just thinking with my brain? I was about to say something with my mind and my mouth in tandem um oh yeah i i'm not gonna say what but i thought of a really fun uh redeem i could do that i want to make eventually it, it might be a little complicated or it's definitely gonna take a bit of work but it it involves like random stuff and i think it could be fun a fun little thing to redeem uh i won't tell you what it is but I I am thinking of new stuff. They've been the thoughts have been coming to me uh, lately. Twitch whispers, the twispers. Discover a new type of goal and name it twitch.tv slash jackadamia. <laughs> so every time someone mentions that goal, they have to say they have to link to my Twitch channel. You can redeem these nuts. Got him. Got him. Epic. I gotta look up. What up? Trying to play it. Okay, let's make this pot. Potty. You're not a true artist until you press undo like eight times in a row. <laughs> Usually get home from work and work out for like an hour. Oh, you have nuts, okay. You should add these nuts to the nut command thing if you haven't. Oh, wait, I should. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. <laughs> I just have real nuts and coconuts, which I don't think are nuts, but they have nut in the name. Undo button, my beloved. 
Where would I be without the undo button? Probably a lot more confident, to be honest. I think if I... Honestly, I think if I never use the undo button again, I'd probably feel way more cool. <laughs> Just like in general life, I think. I think if I was like, yeah, you know. Because then, then if someone's like, hey, can you uh, draw me a thing? Like, you won't have any doubts. You're not like, oh, no, I don't have my tablet or my what? I can't undo. I can't undo in real life. Ah! Like, well, you can with an eraser, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I think drawing without the undo button um, definitely boosts your confidence in art. Your confidence in your strokes, and whatnot. You're not a true artist until your tablet drivers break like six times in a row. True. <laughs> Completely true, yeah. Uh, Timaeus Vision, thanks so much for the follow. Yeah, drawing with a ballpoint pen is a good exercise. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this, like, drawing... There's this website called drawbox.com. Um, I've been wanting to do it. And what, what they want you to have, I think they want you to have, like a felt tip pen or something like that some kind of refined tip some kind of like permanent pen marker thing uh but i haven't gotten around to buying it because i don't know i couldn't find it at like my local place so i'm like uh i'm either gonna have to order it online or like drive to like an art department store which is not close to my house and like blah but basically yeah the, the idea behind it is that you're drawing with um, you know, all your all your marks are permanent, so you really have to think about every single mark you make. You can't just go willy nilly. Because I do want to be better at like quick marks like that, and I think I have gotten better uh, for sure in the past year. Uh, but you know, I want to be the very best. My opinion on Jellystone for HBO Max. Uh, I haven't seen it. I really want to watch it. Um, because it looks really good. And I know, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, Big Nose Bug, one of the members of the board of trustees, actually worked on the show. So that makes me want to watch it even more. And I know another online creator I watch, uh, worked on the show also. I did it for a bit. It actually improved my mark making and understanding of objects and 3D space quite a bit. Yeah. It's rigorous work and it's not easy. Yeah. That's what I've like seen from it. It seems like it's very like focused on like getting you to understand like 3D space and stuff. And like I feel like I do. Like I'm drawing this. Like I drew this pot. I, I looked at a picture and then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna draw this pot. So like I, I do have a pretty pretty uh good grasp on this that kind of stuff but i do want to feel like i like have it completely down so i think i, I would be up for uh, some rigorous stuff push myself uh you know out of out of the box by drawing boxes i'm all about really stupid puns like your art jacket. Thanks, Pickle Goose. Current goal is to actually finish a drawing. So I'm get in. Believe in you. But also, uh, there are like different definitions for like a finished drawing. Some people, I mean, you could draw like a really, really nice sketch and feel like it looks really good. And be like, alright, it's good. It's done. <laughs> like, you don't have to do line work. You don't have to fill it in with color if you don't want to. You don't even have to... You definitely don't even have to like do rendering and like add like shading and like all that stuff. If you feel like it looks good the way it does, then it's finished. It's, yeah, you're the you're the artist, so you get to decide when it's done. Papa Saber, yo! Thanks so much for the follow. What's up? 
What's up, Saber? Long time no see. <laughs> I'm, I say that because they say it in Sonic, and I think it's funny. But now I just I'm, I've been saying it like regularly, and I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm becoming a Sonic character. <laughs> Chris, you're 48% allergic. All right, cool. You're still in the cool half of being less allergic to me. <laughs> the cool crew. Long time to see. What what are you up to, Saber? I've seen like a bunch of your. I don't know. Are they are they TikToks? But I've seen a bunch of your like little animated shorts. They always make me chortle. <laughs> Fiona, you're 76% allergic. Wait, and the Weedle? Two people got 76% in a row. That's crazy. Is it doing the shorts here? I love the 3D slash 2D look of your character. Oh, thanks. Yeah, like, I pulled off the illusion pretty well on this model. I don't know if I'm going to be able... I'm working on a new one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull off the 3D look quite as well. Because this one, like, the head is literally just a circle <laughs> so it's very it was, it was pretty easy uh in comparison to like other head shapes to make it look like three-dimensional and still look like pretty good is it possible to get 100 percent? i think so i'm pretty yeah it's like one to 100 but you know there's a one out of 100 odds it's 82 percent now and 29 percent well yeah well what it does is it just gives you a random number between one and 100 it's not like assigned to your name or anything. I'm not trying to ruin the magic, but that's just how it works, you know? Yeah, you, you took your EpiPen. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he's going up. Yeah, he's going up. But yeah, Saber, I'm, I'm basically a VTuber now. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still gonna make some more animations. Um, but I've been doing this for like, I've been doing this since like February, like the end of January. Uh, and I, I've had this model since like February, I think. I think, cause I, for, I didn't save the VOD where I first used this model, which makes me a little upset. But I think that was in February, I'm pretty sure. And now I got a new one on the way. All right. Uh... But the bottom looks a little stupid. Okay, I'd still give you a hug. Aw. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you'd go through an allergic reaction just to give me a hug. Oh, also, oh, we forgot to say this. Um, I set up a B BTTV, BB BBTV, I don't know what it's called. BTTV, I think it's called. Um, I got that set up, and if you look below the stream. I don't know if it shows up on mobile. Uh, there's like a few uh, emotes that I put in there. And if you don't know how that works, 
basically you yeah <laughs> you catch him yeah <laughs> yes basically you yeah you you have to like type in uh the exact like code not really code the exact name of the emotes and they'll pop up and there's a few custom oh, no. ones uh that i've had on the discord server but haven't been on here yeah like the oh no knuckles <laughs> Big man Shimsham, thanks for the follow. Yeah. <laughs> so now we can be jamming. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm catching. What's the lore behind the Sam emote on the Discord? What's the Sam emote? Sam emote? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's Sam the Wise? <laughs> Sam Wise? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Um. I don't know. I, I really I don't think there's that much behind it. I think that was like in 2016 when I first made the server and I wanted some emotes on it. And I thought Reggie was funny. And I thought Sam the Wise was funny. I don't know why. <laughs> or just like that face he was making. So I think that's it. I just thought it was a funny face. Sam Wise the Brave. I like Sam Wise. He's cool. He's very cool. Alright, let's get this. Let's get some head going. What's the lore on being an epic person? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can go. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm excited for it. <laughs> oh god. Wait, I just realized how that. Okay. Yeah. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. Sometimes. No, no, no. Put some head down to these nuts. God, this is like the most, the most sus stream by far. <laughs> like out of context, out of context, all of my nut jokes, uh, like. If a Twitch mod was just like perusing around and like not really looking or didn't know <laughs> my nut theme, you know, it could potentially seem very bad. You know, they'd be like, what? What is this? Without knowing like the full context. <laughs> the lore behind Blushadamia. Uh, there's no lore. You have to make up the lore for that one. It's kind of like a choose your own lore adventure. Oh, look at that handsome mug. Nut nut jokes. <laughs> Don't say that. What? Don't say sus. <laughs> sus. I was watching uh, Tommy's stream a little bit. I was lurking earlier today, uh, and he's playing the new, the new The World Ends with You game, 
Uh, and one of the characters literally said sus, like, within, like, the first, like, 20 minutes of the game. <laughs> I was like, what? It's invading, like, common lingo in, like, video games now. He was like, yeah, no, this guy's definitely sus. <laughs> I was like, what? How can you say that? It's so weird when you, when you like, witness the transcendence of, like, internet talk into real life and then into, like, media. It's so weird watching that happen. Sus is a word in the dictionary? Like, has it been one? Or is it like a new one? Why the quote ad doesn't work? It's really annoying. Hmm. I think sus has been a word for a while, actually, before Among Us. I don't know. What? You know, why, why are you trying to skip my song? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here! I like this song. Where's Negative Jack nowadays? Uh, I don't know. I was maybe gonna do stuff with that character, but then... I... I mean, I might do some stuff with him in the future, but... I don't have any concrete plans at the moment. So he's just kind of existing. I'll tell you what, like my whole idea of like what I was doing online, it's definitely shifted a lot over the past year. bad boy gonna skip a song yeah <laughs> that is bad it's a nice song after it looks like they didn't sleep for a week um yeah that's accurate <laughs> accurate to me actually i i got decent sleep last night i'm always like uh i gotta wake up at a better time and then i wind up staying up late watching twitch or like youtube videos or whatever and then i always wind up going to bed around like two and then i wake up at like eight or eight thirty and then I'm all tired, so I'm like, uh, I'm gonna hit my snooze button and just lay in bed for a bit longer. And then I wind up, like, not really getting up and, like, getting to work on stuff until, like, 11. And then I'm like, damn. Now I gotta try and wake up early again, but then I stay up late because I stayed in bed for too long, and it's, like, a vicious cycle. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Heroin. Wow, welcome, Heroin. You know, your name sounds really similar to uh, someone else who's been here for a while. But I'm sure that won't be confusing at all. So, welcome. Sus has been around longer 
than its current popularity because I used to use it in a radically different context for very different reasons. Really? What, what did you use it for, Zeko? Do you remember? I, I literally can't think of any other... Like, <laughs> any other way to use it. Coffee. I don't really drink coffee. I mean, like, I'll have it sometimes, but not really often at all. Tony, 922, thanks for the follow. Did you actually change from your edgy phase, or are you still the same? Uh, I'd say I've regressed <laughs> a little bit. I've become a bit more edgy. In way, not like edgy, like, not like, uh, I hate everyone, but like, I've definitely gotten more, I've like returned to the stuff I liked in middle school more so since I left high school and even, even college to some degree. <laughs> I'd say I'm like, I've been more so embracing the things I liked when I was younger and I wasn't like self-conscious about it or whatever so if that makes me edgy then in a way kind of yeah <laughs> think some black gay groups claim that sus was another word for gay like in the 70s oh huh <laughs> yo so when you're calling your homie sus <laughs> I don't I don't really know where I was going with that. <laughs> Yo, we sus out here. I don't know if I like where these spots are. I'm gonna do... Just went back to liking things sincerely. Yeah, like... Yeah, or I'm trying to. Cause it's like, I don't know. Being all... I, I said this in my Sonic video, but... Having to be like self-aware and like not like oh and I'm still cool guys like it, don't don't worry I don't I don't really like this stuff like ha, ha, ha. like I don't know it's just it, it's stupid and it, it really just makes you look insecure like I I think the coolest people are the people who can like just be like yeah well, like just like own. They can just like own themselves. Not like own, like, yo, you got own, dude. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like this is me. Even if it's something that not everyone understands or gets made fun of or whatever. Like those are those are the coolest people. And I strive I strive to be more like that in my life. <laughs> own yourself. Bruh, you just got Totally pwned. When is pwned gonna come back? Pwned. I don't think pwned should come back. Why not? <laughs> okay, yeah, well, pwned pwn was a little, a little stupid. <laughs> I don't even know where, where did the P come from? It was like, like a powerful own. I don't know, I just think I don't know. I used to be very concerned with appealing to like the most people possible at once. 
So like, because I, I don't know, I was like, I think I was like, that'll make me more successful. That'll, like, I don't know, <laughs> make me fit in more or be more happy or whatever. But like, I kind of realized like, it's one thing if like you just naturally appeal to a lot of people. Um. But if you're, like, not being yourself to try and do that, I don't think it's worth it at all. Because then, let's say you do get super successful in whatever your, whatever your terms for success is. Let's say, like, you get that, but, like, all along the way you felt like you weren't being completely honest or truthful to yourself. Um, I feel like it would feel a little hollow. I think it's like Zomg, where it's a popular type though. Zomg. Yeah, the P is right next to the O. That's probably what it is. Is Booba a typo too? No! I, I just looked at my keyboard. The S is right next to A. <laughs> it probably is. Or it's just a funny word. Booba. Yeah, Fizzy, this is, uh, this is Paint Tool Sai. Paint Tool Sai 2, the sequel. The squeakquel. Hey, what's up, Master Jeremy? Don't worry about being late. You're really not that late. And I'm, I'm going to be going for a bit. I've accidentally typed booba multiple times, actually. Skylar, how often are you sending the word boobs? <laughs> I, I see you, Skylar. I see you. <laughs> My cousin says hi. Hi, Fizzy's cousin. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to give Fizzy a wedgie. <laughs> Evil. That's me. <laughs> it's like three times. Three times is one time too many. Boobs don't exist. Because the guy from Smash Bros? Yeah, this plant from Smash Bros. What's up, Jevil Bro? <laughs> it's the plant from Smash Bros. Uh oh. Yeah, I just realized. Oops. in my mouth good luck Skylar. i feel like you eat food at like the same exact time every time it's it's pretty impressive i don't understand I don't know why the quote thing isn't working. I have it set that like anyone can do it. Or maybe, hmm. Cause like, I can't find the options for it to like make it so that everyone can do it. There's like the options for like just the regular quote, like pulling up a quote. But there's no options for like adding quotes. So I can't even see if, like, the only person allowed to do it is, like, me. 
So I'm sorry. I've, I've, I've really got to figure that out. I've been trying to figure it out, but stream elements is really annoying with the quotes. Like they don't show you. They don't show you like <laughs> the list of quotes or anything like that. And I want to, I want people to be able to do that because people do that in my server already. Like we have a whole quote channel. So I'm like, that just be a fun little thing. The streams. It's just being annoying. Yeah. See, I guess you can't really add the quotes. I guess I guess you guys can't. I don't know why. How do you become a mod? Uh you don't you don't. <laughs> I appoint the mods. I, actually, I was thinking of um, putting out a little thing on the server, just asking who would be interested in becoming a mod, because I do think we could use like one or two more, um, just for when like Percy or Skylar aren't around. Um, so I, I was thinking of making like a little, little tiny announcement, just asking to see who might be interested in that. Obviously, nothing nothing would be guaranteed. Just because you're interested doesn't mean you would be a mod. And being a mod... Is it even that cool? I don't know. <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. It's really just like, you would just have to... You know, if you're around, help out with the streams a little. If someone, like, suggests a poll, you can set it up. If someone is being evil uh you could like time them out or whatever am i going to stream utopia someday uh i don't know maybe someday i don't have it like in my plans at the moment i have a few games i feel like i want to stream but i also feel like i want to wait till my new model's ready But I don't know. I don't know how long the rest of that's gonna take. It's like most it's like mostly ready to be rigged. I have to edit like one or two little things and like add some expressions. Um, but then it should be then I just have to rig it. And I don't know how long that's gonna take me. It it could take me like a day, or it could take me longer if I like run into some roadblocks. It is the basement drillers because they're so bored all the time. But being a mod is a big deal. <laughs> well, yeah, like there's always those people who are like, make me mod, make me mod. And I'm like, why? <laughs> One, like you being super eager in that way almost makes me be, like question why you want to be a mod. Because some people are in it because they just want to feel like they have power over other people um i'm like i'm not about that <laughs> and then some people aren't like that i don't know some people just aren't like that i don't know <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that mm hmm tricky so i want this leaf to be behind the stem but i want it to be in front of the pot but the stem is behind the pot power's dope <laughs> power power i don't know i'm not about that i'm like to me power equals responsibilities i guess because i watched spider-man a lot growing up so i'm like i don't know i don't need to be mod i don't want to have to worry about that stuff i mean obviously it's not like a super strict it's not an actual like job it's kind of just like oh you help out if you're around you know so there's not really that much pressure in it but to me i'm like uh that's just another thing to think about and be responsible about like 
I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Green Goblin's my idol. <laughs> is there some type of form to fill out? Nope. Literally, Phoenix Fofi, this is like the most I've talked about it. <laughs> thought about it like the only two mods we have are skylar and percy and both of them well percy was just there from the beginning from like the start of my discord server so percy is like a long time mod on my server and he's been modding on like other servers in the past before that so he's he was just like oh i could do it and i was like okay <laughs> and then Skyler, I knew from another server, and I thought he was chill and cool. So I was just like, hey, do you want to, would you want to help out? And he was like, okay. So both of them were very informal. Just like opportunities that presented themselves. All right, so I'm gonna have to figure out this leaf. I heard informal, and the first thing I thought of was informal. <laughs> informal scout? Oh. <laughs> That's it, you cracked the code. The next mod is informal scout. You win a million dollars. A million nut value. Nut. I might change it back to nut coin. I don't know. I thought the nut value pun was really funny, but then saying it is in like, I have saying is in like earning the I don't know whatever maybe I won't maybe I won't I don't know I don't even have an icon for it I'm lazy I say as I literally do work on oh. stream <laughs> they were formal though I think that would that would never happen scout being formal absolutely not scout will literally walk into a fancy restaurant and spit in the waiter's face that's how devoted they are to being informal and you know what I respect it Disrespectful scout. <laughs> Evil variant. Yeah, the, the OG joke was talking about people's nut worth on the market. Their nut worth. Or nut value. Huh. Well, yeah, because when you talk about... Because when you talk about, like, net values, it's usually you're talking about a net value of something else. We need to convert nut value flat fiat into nut coin crypto. <laughs> Art is hard. I agree, Monolo. But well, it's also fun.
I'm gonna drop one more time. Have I played Donkey Kong Country? Yeah. I played the original one and I played a bit of Donkey Kong Country 2, but not all of it. And I played uh, Country Returns. And then a little bit of Tropical Freeze, but my little brother didn't ever want to play it with me. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't think he likes it as much as a two-player game. And then I just kind of wound up not playing it because I'd be like, oh, do you want to play? And he'd be like, no. I'd be like, <laughs> and then I'd cry. Art is amazing. Thanks so much for the follow. Or Art is amazing 21. Excuse me. It's fun sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it's fun and then other times it's like frustrating. You're like, why can't I make this hand look like it is not a blob? everything but bongo game oh i've played bongo jungle beat i love jungle beat okay i kind of like this one because it almost looks like <laughs> it almost looks like the front of Planet's eyes that might not Scout's informal, not dis disrespectful. But Scout is so devoted to being informal that they would, you know, defy anyone who dares to be formal. Talk, talk for scout anymore, you know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. It was just a, it was a joke. I don't know if scout would like be informal to their mom. I have no idea. All I know is that while scout may be informal, uh, they are the most heroic of all of the team members the scout literally saved me so many times in minecraft <laughs> so many times okay so we got this going Rock Coley, thanks for the follow. You need to have a lot of formality to keep that principle of constant informality up. Yeah, you have to have a lot of knowledge of formality. Oh, heroin, thanks for the hydrate. Did I work on the nut check more upstream? No, I haven't. I haven't 
uh, done anything in Minecraft since that day. I don't know if this is happening, so I'm not going to say anything formal, but I... We might be having, like, a Minecraft stream on Friday, maybe. Uh, just a bunch of people going on the server. I don't know, though. It was brought up, like, last week, and I was like, oh, I could probably do that. Uh, but I haven't heard anything about it since. So it might might be a thing, might not be a thing. What do I draw with? And what platform? Um, well, this is this program is Paint Tool Sci version two, the second one. Hi. Uh, and I'm I'm drawing on a Cintiq right now, a uh, 16 inch one or like, yeah, I think it's 16 or 15 inch. Hi, Catwire. Thursday then Friday, yeah, potentially. I I'm definitely gonna do Thursday either way. It's just there might be a bonus one on Friday. Might be. I have to confirm it, but there may just be. Now let's figure out these lips. Big old lips. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, Kawar. Just working on some art stuff um, for Mads. And then we're going to play some Super Mario Galaxy. Afterwards. It's already almost 5.30. Hmm. I think I'll, I'll work on this, on these until at least 6, I think. kind of brushes do I use? Um, mostly just the standard ones. Like, typically I just use, like, the normal brush. Like, <laughs> pretty normal. Um, for this, though, I use... Uh, I just change the texture, and I just go to bristle. Which is pretty much just, like, the standard paint brush texture. I don't really use anything that crazy. But I'll, like, I'll fiddle around with, like, the minimum size of it and stuff like that. Because I, I like my lines to be a little bit cons more consistent. As far as, like, thickness and junk. Yo, welcome back, Skylar. Slop come out of its mouth? Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is really... I don't think it's going to be animated. I think it's going to be... Well, it might be a little animated, but... I think it's more like a background element. That is a, that is a good idea, though. <laughs> monitors do I use? Uh, I have three, <laughs> technically. I got the two computer ones, and then I have my drawing tablet. That's not good. Luck uh, on. Thanks so much for the follow. Good to hear that you're doing well, because I'm not doing that well, because my internet's the worst to ever exist. Uh, I feel that. I'm sorry, that sucks. I, I think having a, like, bad internet is almost worse than having no internet. In certain cases. 
But yeah, bad, bad internet's so frustrating. Especially when like you're on like your parents' plan or whatever. And you're like, I want better internet, but your parents are like, uh, no, I don't really care about that stuff, so... <laughs> you're out of luck. Definitely frustrating, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I'm just wandering around, and you're so underrated. I mean, your stream quality is so cool. Oh, thanks, Lucka. I appreciate that. Um, thanks. <laughs> I think it, it's pretty cozy around here. You keep it cozy. most of these types of streamers are <laughs> what what type of streamer what type of streamer do you think I am and what what are the types of streamers because I feel like I mostly just watch the other streamers like in this little bubble <laughs> An awesome one? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Official Sheely, thanks so much for the follow. You know, I might be awesome, but y'all are epic. For being epic. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I would just be, I would be doing this stuff anyway. I just wouldn't be talking. <laughs> I'd just be in my little workspace working on stuff. I just would... Yeah, I just wouldn't be talking to anyone. So, I, I appreciate all you. Zero Creativity, thanks for the follow. VTuber Hot Tub Woman. Uh-huh, -huh. but what if I were to sit in a hot tub? <laughs> what then? One's too much into themselves and put content over people to make a buck. Huh. Some people, they be on that grind. Yes. I don't know if I like how I'm doing these lips. I definitely need, like, shading under the teeth, I think. Yo, oh my god. <laughs> Laka, thanks so much for the, for the sub. Thanks so much. Welcome to the Nutty Buddy squad. Ah, it's not called anything. You're just a Nutty Buddy. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my god, especially like right after following. Wow, you're you're pretty cool. Hey ya, hey ya! What's up? Hi, thanks for the follow. I just alright, I just wanted to support you somehow. Well thanks. Oh yeah, I, I really appreciate it. But yeah, honestly, just just hanging around and just following is like definitely more than enough. So I I do appreciate that. Okay. 
This toot's a little stupid. I'm gonna go with nicer. Skip the song though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can use all the all the emotes now. <laughs> YouTubers are much more interesting too because of the different sonas they can have. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's interesting seeing people's uh, their avatars <laughs> and like what they're using and like hearing the stories behind them. It's always pretty cool. I know some VTubers also they like really they like get really into like character. Like they're they're like doing like a character. It's more than just an avatar it's like they're like acting as though they are the character which like mad, mad respect to those people like because that's like I, I would be exhausted by that i'd be like oh uh, uh. <laughs> definitely not my style <laughs> <laughs> How do I get started drawing on Twitch? Um, stream yourself drawing. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I was gonna know where to shoot fire, but <laughs> yo, wait—is that Dean? Dean, Mr. Valentine, yo. What's up? Dean, why weren't you at... Why were you not at uh, our little gathering? On Saturday. Not Saturday. Sunday. I thought you were supposed to be there, Dean. I, I was all like, oh, I want to see Dean in person. Yeah, you didn't show. Lineless teeth like this are very. Oh, I gotta stretch. Uh, they're a little tricky. Almost makes me wonder like, should I separate. Like. Bottom and top lip? Or something? I don't know. Real high, dude. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh, I'm yawning. Did you hear my question? <laughs> oh, I couldn't make it. I had to go to a Scott Huffman show. Ooh. Okay. Then everyone, people there were like, oh, Dean should be here. And I was like, all right. So I guess they were just, they were just stupid. I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate. I appreciate you, Dean. like these teeth drawn it looks like they're like popping out <laughs> a little bit
go to sleep. You look kind of tired. <laughs> Everyone says I look tired, but it's only 5.40 p.m. Uh, I'm actually not tired at the moment. Found the problem for all my Wi-Fi trouble and I fixed it. Good to hear. Yeah, Wi-Fi can be pretty finicky. Like, now that I have Ethernet going, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's because my model keeps closing its eyes. Uh, yeah, that just happens whenever I look, <laughs> whenever I look down. Okay, wait, I, I gotta turn this up. I gotta turn this song up. <laughs> you know I'm a show. You get yourself together, there's no time to rest. And if you put your time in, put you to the test. One man in his world, more is less. This world, this all in this world, his world. Life's an open book. Yeah, I love this song. <laughs> Does not exist. Blah, 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 blah. Kicking ass fast. In this world, his world. Never fear the fall. This world, compromise does not exist. I've to heard the news. Oh, you know what I should do? I should make the teeth, like, curved a little. Like, so that they're more, like, fangs-ish, I guess? Boggy Boof, thanks so much for the follow! Boof. Boof. This world is world. What's up, Boggy Buff? How you doing? How's your Tuesday going? Was your Monday, uh, survivable? God, I hate Mondays. Oh no. Good, how about you? It was awesome. I'm doing pretty good. We're chilling. This piranha plant's taking me way longer than I thought it would. I really thought I'd be able to get through the piranha plant, Wait. the piranha plant, the la croix, <laughs> the NES cart, and the plum bob today, but... <laughs> I underestimated these stupid teeth. Alright, let me see. Good thing in Galosia. 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 Cassiopeia. Why do people hate furry, like the Gadka and the ones that are just cringe? I see, but why? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't entirely understand some of that, but I don't know. Some people just don't. I don't know. <laughs> Some people are whack. You can't let people just enjoy stuff. Although I'm not. Like, 
Obviously, I don't know everything. Bro. Gotcha. What? Now I'm even more confused. Fat dog, thanks for the pet. <laughs> Did you know chocolate chip cookies weren't invented yet when the Titanic sank? No, I didn't know that. I don't know anything about gotcha stuff. Except for that, the Mario Kart game that they made, Mario Kart Tour for smartphones, was technically a gotcha game. And I like played it for like a solid amount of time. I was, I was like kind of hooked on that for like a few weeks. Maybe even like a month. Playing, playing Mario Kart, uh, the smartphone game, it really just made me like realize how much I want a new Mario Kart. Like, I'm like itching for that. I'm like, I need, I need new Mario Kart. I need to like be able to go around and ride in a cart again in a new game. Like, I'd even be fine if they just added new car new courses to Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Alright, it's amazing. Oh yeah, the, the people who are, like, even more insufferable than some of the most insufferable furries, um, are the people who are, like, kill all furries. Like, the, those people are so... It's kind of scary. It's like, jeez, like, why are you so... Why do you dedicate, like, all your time online to, like, being an asshole <laughs> to, like, this people that you perceive as a whole group when it's, like, it's just weird. It, it's it's very, like, telling. It's like, uh, you've, you've got some issues. That's why I play Mario Kart DS on my phone. It's pretty epic. They were literally molding at a group of people having fun. Yeah, they were molding. With Zinchin. <laughs> I didn't know you say molding. I love the word molding. <laughs> but I haven't said molding. Because I literally, I'm like, ah, no one would understand. No one would understand the word molding. I'm glad to see I've got a fellow molder in chat. <laughs> Yo, all my Maldives, stand up! Stop having fun! It, it, it's very reminiscent of like... I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but I remember in preschool, there would definitely be times when like, I'd just be chilling, I'd be doing my thing, or like in pre-k or whatever i'd be like playing with blocks or like playing with uh like the little toy sets or whatever and i'd be like in my zone like doing my thing and then there'd be that one kid who would just be like a jerk and would just like want to put a stop to like your fun like they'd like kick over your blocks or they'd like pull pull the toy out of your hand and be like it's my turn or like whatever <laughs> and like make you feel bad for just like having fun doing your own thing it's literally like that it's like it goes back to preschool it's like the one kid who can't just have fun on their own for whatever reason because maybe their parents are jerks or maybe they're just naturally a jerk i don't know uh <laughs> it's literally like that and then they just they poop on your parade mad and balding <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yo, all the Malders, baby. The no Malding is that you're so mad that you're balding. <laughs> it's just like you get so angry that your hair starts falling out, or you're just balding and you're also mad. I don't know. I don't know wh what the order is, <laughs> but I've interpreted it as the former.
Also, I don't really like that that shade. It was so funny when like some of, one of my friends who like doesn't play video games that much, besides like FIFA or whatever. When, when I would, this song's like all over TikTok, or it was, uh, and he would be like, "Oh, put put in that one song," and I was, I'd be like, "Oh, the Undertale Shop song." And he'd be like, the, "That no, that one song from TikTok." I'm like, "Yeah, that's that's the Undertale Shop song." He's like, "No, no, but the one from TikTok." I'm like, "No, it's it's from Undertale. It's the Undertale Shop song." And then he's like, "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's from Undertale." And he's like, "Oh, what?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, with Sans." Glad Piranha Plant is a full-on character in the Mario series. Like, yeah, Piranha Plant is cool. Piranha Plant's pretty cute. I like. I never really appreciated Piranha Plant as quite as much until like. I, I really like Petey Piranha, but I, I didn't really appreciate the standard Piranha Plant until. Uh, oh no! It got put into Smash, and then I was like, wait a second. Piranha Plant is cool. TikTok did introduce me to some awesome songs though. So. Yeah, like I'm not trying to like shit on TikTok, like I'm I'm definitely not a TikTok hater. Because I know I know some people are like that, but like the TikTok? Ugh. I just don't use it. And it's it's not because I think it's bad, because I think I probably would enjoy it. It's that I think I would enjoy it too much and it would just become like Twitter 2 for me, where I'm just on it a lot and should be doing other stuff. That looks weird. I don't know why. I'm sorry, Bads. I don't know why I can't draw right now. I can't paint. You know, maybe I should like move on to something else. Well, I don't know, it doesn't look bad. It needs more like contrast. Sexy, bruh. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Look at all big lips. Okay, I won't lie. A kiss from a piranha plant, assuming it's not trying to eat you, you probably, probably wouldn't be half bad, you know. <laughs> Ah! What's something to pet? Little lines on the leaves? Oh yeah, I will. The leaves and stuff are not fully done being rendered yet. Make me kind of want to go draw right now. Oh, totally. Go, go draw if you're in the mood. Go, go, grab a, grab a paper pencil combo. Do it. Seize the moment. I sometimes I'll like get in the mood to draw like <laughs> like as I'm trying to go to sleep I'm like in bed and I'm like wait 
that would be really cool to draw. And then I sit up and then I like grab my iPad and I start drawing. I'm like, oh well. I didn't need to sleep. Hi, Hi Luca. You guys just like me saying hi to you, don't you? I, I, a lot of people who redeem hi, I've already said hi to. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I've just noticed it. You know, it's, it's respectable. I enjoy I enjoy a high myself. But don't think I don't know what you're doing. I'm on to you. What if the piranha plant wanted to bore you? No, no, uh, that's that's too far. That's too far. I'd say no, thank you. No thanks. I've I've been on DeviantArt long enough to know where this is going. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. That does look pretty good. Okay, I'm I'm happier with this now. I don't know if it's complete. But the teeth look pretty good. Wait. Wait. Seems a little. Go do it. Bye. I'll be back in like an hour. All right. Bye, Luca. Good luck on the drawing. Uh, wait. If you're still there, also, um, you should join the Discord server and then you can post your art there. Shooting is a little bit than Star Wars. It's a sports documentary. Quick goose. Uh, the quotes are more for stuff I've said. I don't think I've ever said that. And also, I don't think it works for people. The moment, which is annoying. I've got to figure out how to fix that. I'm just annoyed by how much time you're spending on one tooth, but I would know I would do the same. <laughs> Does my art process in uh enrage you? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna do like a bunch of the final rendering make this look a lot nicer VG Mark Draws, thanks so much for the follow. <laughs> Jacka says, watch this. Watch this. And then I fall on my face.
go to the leaf, not the leaf, the stem thing. Plant. Oh my god, Hoodie Katsu, thanks so much for the resub. Plant. <laughs> thanks so much. How are you doing, Hoodie Katsu? Would the shadow go that way, or would it go... That? Probably more like that, I think. There's a little, little, little dude. There's a little plant. Vibing the usual? How are you? I'm vibing also. I got a vibe going on. I'm gonna finish this piranha plant and then I'm gonna jump into Mario Galaxy. Are you good at saying yare yare daze? Yare yare daze. Or is it like yare yare daze? I have to I have to rewatch uh, JoJo saying that because that's where I learned that. Yare yare daze. Good grief. Actually made it to the stream. Ah, uh, frid fridity, fridity fridge. Welcome. I'm glad you can make it. Do I like ASMR? I don't really watch it. I remember first time I heard about it was when it was like a big meme. Um, like when people were just discovering it. Oh my god. Year, year days. Year, year days. <laughs> Zinchin, thanks so much for the 1500 bits. Holy holy cow, that's that's a lot. Thank you so much. Year, year days. <laughs> yare, yare, daze. Yare, yare, daze. <laughs> or is it yare, yare, daze? I don't know if it's supposed to be like all in one go or if there's like a pause. But I like that. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, oh yeah, ASMR. I just remember, yeah, hearing about it a ton. One of my friends used to listen to it, and a bunch of my other friends kind of like poked fun at him for it. Because that was when the, like, people were just finding out about it. It was just becoming like a big thing. People were like, what? Like people were watching a video of like some dude like licking a cactus next to a microphone or <laughs> whatever. like. And I, I was definitely on that boat. I was like, what? Like, how are... I was more like... I, I guess I was more annoyed that, like, those videos were getting lots of views. This was before I even started my YouTube channel, I think. I was just like, what? Like, how? Like, people, I was like, people watch anything. Uh, but honestly, I don't know. I think ASMR is kind of nice. <laughs> like, now outside of that context and outside of the whole, like, being confused about it thing, now that I kind of... Now that it's more, like, a solidified thing. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't watch it, but like, I don't hate it. I think it can be kind of nice. I don't know. <laughs> I I know it doesn't work for some people. For me, I think it does work a little. Like it, it does it does give me tingles sometimes. That's a weird sentence. I don't want to. <laughs> don't quote me on that. You guys literally can't. The command isn't working, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, I think it gets too much hate. I mean, I think it is really easy to paint it as something silly, though. It's like, like, bruh, you go to sleep listening to some person whisper in your ear. Like, <laughs> it is a little funny. Like, you do have to admit. Like, putting it in that in that light, it's like, yeah, it is, it is kind of funny. But it's the same kind of funny as, like, like furry stuff. It's like, yo, you, like, uh, walk around in a... 
big ass costume or whatever. Like I don't, but like you know, it's a, you could you could put a lot of things that way and make it sound stupid. <laughs> Hey, Jack, I just up to your Twitch. Did you receive the notification? Eli, no. I don't think I did. I did not. Did you do it on your phone? That was happening to me. I would, like, sub to someone, and, like, I wouldn't get the option to, like, share it until, like, a, a little, until, like, later. Uh, but thank, thanks so much. Hopefully it shows up. And then when it does, I'll thank you again. I haven't met anyone into ASMR, but I salute them for finding their bliss. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, you know, if it's, if it's your thing, then you know, power to you. That's, that's all I gotta say about that. Right, how do I want to do this leaf? I want to. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling this leaf. Gotta look at the picture, the reference. I'll also have to like change the shape of the leaf a little bit. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really look like this. They have like spiky leaves. Oops. Oopsie. Do emote fly across the stream screen for a second. That's how they do. That's that's what they do. If you spam a bunch of emotes, they'll show up on screen. It's a it's like an extension thing I have, a little add-on. Do you like to Golly. sing? Uh, I enjoy singing sometimes. I don't, I don't think I'm that good at it. <laughs> uh, especially because my voice isn't. Uh, oh, well, I actually, I only have one. It sounds weird. It sounds weird to say, but I only have one. Uh, like actually, like working vocal cord, <laughs> which sounds weird. It sounds really weird to say. Uh, and it's weird every time I think about it. Because of my surgery that I got a while ago. If you've been following me for a long time. When I, I went to the voice doctor and yeah, it's still, still only one of them really works. So like singing really loud and like 
super well is definitely hard for me, but I, I do like it. Can't hit all the notes, but yeah. I enjoy it. Now there's an awkward silence. Where'd the music go? Oh. I already listened to this. Brain can no, I didn't have brain cancer. I had I had a brain tumor though, and it it was like, uh, I'm not blinking a lot. The, the avatar goes insane when I look down at my uh, tablet. But no, I, I didn't have brain cancer. I, I had a tumor on. It, it was literally on the nerve that controls like uh, your shoulder and like your neck and like your vocal cord. Uh. And it wasn't like a cancerous tumor, so normal one. And I got it removed, but like, um, it had been there like for a, pretty much like most of my life, like getting bigger. Not not trying to like gross anyone out, but uh, <laughs> yeah. And eventually, it got so big that it started like affecting my nerves and stuff. And unfortunately, like it affected some of them like permanently. Like, I, I got it removed, and I'm all good now. I still go in for, like, yearly checkups. But, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes shit just happens, and it's, like, not anyone's fault. It's just, that's how it is, unfortunately. Alright, I think these leaves look pretty good. That's a lot of frogs. <laughs> Actually, I'm realizing the way the way piranha plants leaves are isn't really like this. It's more like they're like darker at the edges. It's like a little lighter. That looks oh, pretty good. Big hug. Thanks for the hug. <laughs> Thanks for the hug, Eli. <laughs> Yo, Waddle DMO, it's Pop Art. That's so cool. Hello. I'm guessing those are like official ones. Cause like, I don't know. I, I I don't really understand the Twitch emote rules that much because I I know like 
in the terms of service, the TOS, uh, they're like, yeah, you can't make emotes using characters that you don't own. I'm like, I know so many people do that. I, I think maybe if it's like your own art, you're allowed to do it. I don't really know. Weird. Weird. A billion hugs if I could, I would take all those hugs. <laughs> Although, I feel like we would never stop hugging then. <laughs> like, ever. You know, not that I'm complaining, but you know, I, I probably would want to do some other stuff, you know. <laughs> like, uh, Alright. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a stream now. <laughs> This leaf to be behind the stem, but in front of that pot. So that's like difficult. Whoa, this is actually shaping up good. What do you mean, actually? I am an artist. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Thanks so much. Welcome back, Luca. You had no idea what to draw? Ah, oh, that's alright. <laughs> Looks great, thanks. I've just got to figure out... Oh, I know what to do. I don't really need this front part to cover anything more than... Just, like, the bottom of that. <laughs> Stem. Inca rule 0822. Thanks so much for the follow. How's my hero Jackademia doing? <laughs> Hi, Master. I'm doing pretty well. Just finishing up this up. Um, then I'm going to get some more water and then we're going to jump into some Mario. Some space Mario. You think Mario's a billionaire and that's how he got to space? <laughs> he flew to space in a penis rocket? Any jackass stuff? Hi, Jiggy. What's up? Uh, you mean like the movies? I'm gonna say no. Not that like I like. I'm like, all right. I hate jackass. I don't like it. But like, I've never really watched those movies or like had an inclination to. I don't know if they're my my thing. I think I would just get annoyed at them. <laughs> Hey, King K. Rule. Are you the King K. Rule? Why are you so obsessed with stealing Donkey Kong's bananas? Jerk. He's a big monkey. Like, just let him eat the bananas. That's like one of the only things he does. <laughs> one of his only joys in life. Eating bananas. And you, you, you try and take that away from him. You're despicable. <laughs> It's a great group activity. Well, like watching, <laughs> watching Jackass. I'm sure it's probably funny with the right people, but I just know the people who tried to show me those movies growing up were all kind of jerks. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't reflect on the movies themselves, 
maybe I'm being unfair. Probably am. Uh, that's just like the association I've gotten with those movies. Were they jackasses? Probably, yeah. The only clip I've seen from those movies was the giant hand slapper and them trying to sit behind a jet engine. What? I just know it's crazy. Like gore stuff. It's not really like gore stuff. It's just it's just a bunch of dudes and they do like stupid things. And they like they do get hurt, but it's not like it's not like focused on like blood or anything. As far as I'm aware. I mean it might be. I don't know. It's pretty good. I could probably fix it up a bit later. So just at a poll, do you want to see Jack and Amy play Newtopia? Alright, I'll set up the poll. Although I feel like everyone's going to say yeah. Like No one's going to be like, no, I don't want to see that. But also, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I'll, I'll set up the poll. <laughs> we'll see what people say. Yeah, I'm I'm still drawing. It's it's taking longer than I thought it would. Um What was I up to? Leaves. My little Yeah, right, thanks for the pet. It's frat boy humor. Not the kind of frat boy Chester is. <laughs> yeah, it's like Golly. It is kind of... That's the impression I always got. And, you know, maybe I'm, like, way... Way out of, out of the left... Way out of left field. I don't know. Yo, Maxi, what's up? How goes the fox shrimp? The fox shrimp be shrimping. I'd be shrimping all the time. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like trying to finish this up. I just want to play some Mario. <laughs> I'm tired of drawing Mario. I, I, I just want to. I just want to play Mario. Yeah, this song's from Kirby. I just cleaned out my CPU fan. It was a mega dusty. My PC's a hand-me-down from my dad, and I don't think him and me ever cleaned that part. Oh, jeez. I, I, I really like cleaning out dust from, like, things, to be honest. Maybe not from a computer, like, having to take it apart, but, like, 
It is kind of fun. Okay, so the, the vote was pretty close, but yes, buy it and play at one. That doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I don't know. <laughs> but now I know it's pretty close. I don't know. I mean, do I think it'd be fun? Yeah, but I don't know if I want to buy it <laughs> and play it for that long. Plus, I think, I think a lot of people have already played it. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't have to play games that are super new and trending all the time. But I, I was kind of interested in maybe, maybe... Uh, buying and playing Skyward Sword. And I'm still on the fence about that, so like, I, I think that's where I'm kind of leaning. You popped into my recommended, so I decided to check out the stream. Hi, Floops. Thanks so much for popping in. Glad to have you around. Thanks so much for the follow. Oof. Oh no. Heck. Why'd that song skip? I like that song. Go back. Come back. Okay, this isn't the same one, but this one's still good. All right, this plant be looking mighty potted. Mighty potted indeed. Uh, Twitch kid, 37, uh, 374,737. Thanks for the follow. Some more dirt. Some dirt. And the duck art. Thanks so much for the follow. You can do the Metopia demo and squeeze four hours out of it. Maybe I would do the demo. But also, I'm like, I don't know. I'd have to make all the characters, you know. I mean, I think you can download some of them or find them online, but like. I have to make all the characters. I guess I'm just feeling lazy. That's probably it. I'm just feeling lazy. <laughs> character creation ones are really fun when you spend all the time to, like, make the characters. So maybe if I was, like, really, really up for it. Like, really feeling like, okay, yeah. I'm feeling creative. Feeling like I want to make some funny me's. Maybe then I'd do it. This looks pretty good. Think. Dirt. I like the PMD one too. That was one of my favorite PMD songs. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> that one is a good one. I think like I, I was listening to this playlist earlier while I was working on this stuff. I think that that one had just come up before, so I was just kind of like, eh, I don't need to hear it again. I don't like how that. Uh, shadow looks. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. This looks good enough. <laughs> good enough to eat. I'm not. 
I was really like drawing to other streams of people drawing. I should try that. I haven't done that. But yeah, that does sound kind of fun. Oh, wait. One little thing. One little tiny, tiny thing. What? There. That looks a little bad. <laughs> Pog. Cool. We're gonna play it. Awesome. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy or other Square Enix RPGs. I think the composer for... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or a few of the games. I don't know about all the games, but I know a few of them. Uh, I think she's the same composer from like Kingdom Hearts. I think. I don't know if that's 100% true. Kingdom Hearts Mystery Dungeon. What am I looking at? Yoko Shimamura. Not, maybe not for Explorers of Time and Darkness, but I think maybe for... Maybe I was way off. I, I swear I heard this. Like the first two Mystery Dungeon, maybe the third one. Mystery Dungeon... Um... Yeah, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Mystery Dungeon. Isn't this just Gates to Infinity? No, Keisuke, Keisuke Ito? Okay, I don't think it was the same person. But I, I think maybe they did work on some kind of Final Fantasy thing or something related to that. Benny Armadillo, thanks so much for the follow. Not a fan of Sonic Colors, but this is one of the songs I do like. I really like Sonic Colors. I know some people. Are are you a Sonic fan? Because I know some, a decent amount of Sonic fans are like, eh, I don't really like Sonic Colors because there's a lot of 2D, uh, and people, some people don't like the Wisps. Uh, but personally, I think Sonic Colors. That's when they did the Wisps the best. I think the Wisps are pretty cool when they're done well. Other times they weren't done so well, so that's why the people a lot of people started to like hate them hate them uh and i didn't really mind the 2d stuff like i i, I personally liked it um but i, I do understand those points and also the story kind of <laughs> very corny i don't think yoko Shimomura did the pmb soundtrack but i know she did kingdom hearts and mario and luigi oh, that's what i'm thinking of yeah mario and luigi and kingdom hearts were both done by Yoko Shimomura. But I remember hearing that the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon composer, at least from like the last latest two games, I I think I don't, she might have worked on some other RPGs. But the, that composer is really good too. Sonic Colors is honestly my favorite. I think it's my favorite of the modern ones. I mean, as far as like being a full game. Like, I think, as a full game, it's the best. I think. Kind of. <laughs> I think Generations has better gameplay, but I give Colors points for being a completely original, like, adventure with a new story. Even if the story is a little corny. <laughs> I am, but I'm more into the older stuff, like the Genesis and Adventure games. Ah, uh, okay. Well, Ken Penders can suck my... <laughs> I watched the video about Ken Penders. It wasn't that long, but, like, I got the gist that he kind of... I, I don't even understand. I don't understand how the Ken Penders thing... So, apparently, there's this lawsuit that says, like, Sonic can't show excessive emotion. Like, he can't ever be super distressed or, like, crying and, like, stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I don't get... What? Because I, I watched this video about Ken Penders, and basically the gist was he made a bunch of so a comics in the Sonic universe, and he made a bunch of original characters within his comics. 
And there was this whole thing, and blah, blah, blah. He wanted the rights to his original characters. Um, and eventually he got them. But I don't understand what that has to do with Sonic not being able to cry. Like, I don't get how one dude can be like, oh, Sonic can't cry anymore. I own Sonic's tears. So, <laughs> like, was that him or was that something else? Maybe I have to watch a, a longer video because I watched this video that was only like, it was only like nine minutes or something. And it seemed like the guy who was talking about it didn't know everything about it, but he was just giving like a little overview. Yeah, man, because Sega had his OC. Yeah, exactly. Like this dude made Sonic OCs. Like based, and a lot of them were like kind of weird looking. They're <laughs> kind of like ugly. Um, and I think what happened from what I, the gist I got was that Sonic Chronicles, that one game on the DS that was an RPG, used kind of like a story concept he came up with. It was like with like the ancient echidnas and they had this, uh, and they had like ancient technology and they lived in a different dimension. And like they basically did the same exact thing in that video game without crediting him or like give, paying him so he got upset and then he decided to be like you know what i'm leaving sonic and i'm taking my ocs with me and everyone was like okay <laughs> like they just got tired of dealing with him for almost two decades mario wasn't allowed to do the peace sign what yeah, these, these are like the videos i get recommended to me sometimes they're like the video game documentaries or whatever. It's just because Sega has some strict as fuck rules regarding what writers are allowed to do with Sonic. Hmm. I don't get that though. Like, so it's just Sega. It's not like a law thing. There, there isn't a law that's like, yeah, it's illegal to make Sonic cry. <laughs> I thought there was like a law thing. Okay. I mean, that's just like what they're deciding though. That's that sounds like it's more like how Miyamoto is telling like the Paper Mario people that they can't make like original designs anymore. Like you can't give that Goomba a hat. What are you doing? All of them have to look the same, stupid. That Toad can't have a mustache, like that kind of stuff. It's like, it's like a rule that they made that isn't a law, but it's like, it's a rule that they have to follow because the higher-ups are all concerned about branding. They're like, we don't want kids to look up pictures of Sonic and see Sonic cry. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> Alright. From after Mario 64 Odyssey, no peace sign was allowed because my mother wanted him to be for teens? What? I don't- how does that make any sense? Teenagers are allowed to make peace signs. I don't understand that. Demetrius, thanks so much for the follow. Alright, um... Didn't want Mario to be represented just for kids. Because Mario... I don't... I may mean, have thought it looked, made him look too kiddy? What? I don't ever see kids making peace signs, like, ever. That's like a... I... What? <laughs> Miyamoto's, Miyamoto's mind is an enigma. It really is. What? <laughs> Kids don't want to see Sonic cry. Kids want to see Sonic always smirking. Huh. And Mario can't do the peace sign. Peace is for babies. Mario is all about violence <laughs> and death and destruction. No peace. No pasta. No peace. <laughs> yeah, I was loving when I first Googled Sonic stuff, and moving, I didn't care about this kind of stuff. Like that. Yeah, like, I don't know, the higher up, like, executive people, they have such a weird vision of, like, people and how they view the world. And they totally, it's so obvious, they just think it's, like, of kids and stuff as, like, I don't know, they, they think of them as, like, not products, but, like, just consumers, and not, like, actual people. It's, like, it's, like, you have to, you're, you're, you feel like you have to, like, do these things for these people, but no one ever asked for that, and no one ever said anything. It's just them overthinking it because they are trying so desperately to, like, think of the children, but really they're just, like, degrading the children. If anything, it's like, why would it, 
why would a kid be upset that, that one of their favorite characters can be upset? Like, are you... Unless they're just thinking about two-year-olds, it's like, yeah, I guess Sonic yelling would probably scare a two-year-old. But, but like, your two-year-olds aren't buying your stuff. It's It makes no sense. Yeah, not safe for work Sonic stuff. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any of that, but I did see some... I, I saw some of the some of the stuff. <laughs> some of the interesting things on DeviantArt, Art, but no no ex super explicit things. Fortunately. <laughs> but yeah, kids are way smarter than boomers think. <laughs> for the kids you have to babysit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that's why like shows shows that appeal to kids but are don't like talk down to them and, and are like also funny for adults are usually the most successful so it's so bizarre to me when companies think that they have to like baby kids I feel like sonic games feel like they have to baby kids that's why like sonic forces and like a bunch of them like always have so many like oh make sure you do this press the x button to poop your pants like like they'll tell you a million times oh that looks like a homing attack you gotta do that i'm like shut up like i know how to do it <laughs> I can figure it out. You, you can tell me once, but you don't have to baby me. I say as a 23-year-old playing video games on the internet. <laughs> Every day I meet adults with less emotional intelligence than kids. Yeah, that's com that's so true. Kids are so much more in touch with their emotions and stuff. It's better. Like, it's it's honestly better than not being in touch with your emotions and being angry at the world. <laughs> Press X to poop pants. All right, I gotta. I'm gonna quote that. You know what? It's not working for y'all. Actually, Scholar, do you want to try it? It might work for mods. I want, I want to see something. See if you could quote that. Quote, quote, add, press X to poop your pants. I just want to see this. One, I think it's a funny quote. <laughs> and two, I just want to see if it works. Have you seen the YouTube channel Thomas Game Docs? Yeah, that's that's where I saw some of those things. I saw that Mario thing you were talking about recommended in that. From that guy. I, I've seen some of his stuff. A little bit. But yeah, like... I don't know, big big wigs are so they're so short-sighted and stupid. Because <laughs> they're only concerned about money. And ironically, that's what kills them. That's what makes them make less money. Skyler? Are you there? If you're not there, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna press X to poop my pants. There you go. See, it works when I do it. Hmm. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Oops. All right. I want to play Mario, but I feel like we've been having a we've been having a pretty good conversation. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna. Oh, I had you muted for like a minute. Oh my god. That's alright. Maybe I'll say something else that's stupid. I just wanted to see if the quoting thing works for mods. Like maybe it's only maybe only mods can do it on stream elements. I don't know. It's interesting. Alright, um. But yeah. Let's uh let's get into the Oh, my switch is off. We'll get into Mario Galaxy. I'm going to pull out my Joy-Cons real quick. Hi. Joy-Cons. Cool. 
it's all working. And I'm gonna take a little break. I'll probably I'll be back in like pretty soon. I'm just gonna waz, uh, fill up my water, and like stretch a bit. Uh, and then we'll play Mario Galaxy for like a, a bit. I don't know how long, <laughs> but at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, but I'll be right back.
right. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> Let me just, I gotta change uh, stream info a little bit, change the game. Hello. Galaxy. What's up? What did I miss? I missed Pumpkin Hill. No, <laughs> no. Hi, Benny Armadillo. Hi, Meow. <laughs> What's up? All right, let's get. I can't believe I missed Pumpkin Hill, and I just added that to. Uh... Okay, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna update. <laughs> I'm not gonna update my system. Tamoya track. <sighs> I'm a fool. I literally just added Pumpkin Hill to the playlist. I added like a, a few songs. A good handful. And got rid of some. Okay, where do I want to go? Where do we want to go? Uh, for those of you unaware, I'm currently trying to 100% the game. When I say 100%, I don't know if I mean... I don't think I mean also Luigi. <laughs> I just mean get all the stars. as Mario. As much as I would love to play this game again... As Luigi, I don't know if I'll do it on stream. And I probably won't do it for a while. If I do. But right now, we're going Mario mode. What's that? I want to see, like... Oh, okay. Dusty Dune. Let's go to the Deep Dark Galaxy, and then we'll go to Melty Molten. I'll leave now, see you. Bye, Samuel. Thanks for hanging around. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'm just gonna get all cozy. My neck hurts. <laughs> My neck hurts from sitting and drawing all day. Some video games is like exactly what I need. <laughs> I think I've kind of like, I've kind of realized that I don't have to do only one thing for the entire stream because <laughs> uh, I used to think that because I don't know if I would want to play Mario Galaxy for four hours and obviously not every stream has to be four hours but I do I do like the longer streams I feel like I get into more of a, a rhythm sorts but yeah I, I kind of realized like wait I could do like one thing for like the first half and then another thing for the second half like, maybe that's good, maybe it won't work in the long run, but... What, what do you guys think of that? You think it's, like, weird to, like, swap, like, midway through a stream? Wanna try Lego Mario? Nope. You mean, like, the little robot Lego Mario? No, that thing's mad expensive. And I'm not like, I'm not super into Lego, so it's not really my thing. If I was younger, I probably would be all over it. But I, I've kind of like learned to realize what, like, what I don't really need or want that much. 
Ahí. I like variety streams. It's rare for me to have enough energy to watch one thing for one so long. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll I'll see how this pattern goes. I don't think I'll. It, it obviously depends. Ah, Mister <laughs> Masterge, thanks so much. Thanks, thanks so much for the sub. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, obviously it depends. Like, Mario Galaxy is a game I've played so many times. And, like, it, it is a little slower paced. So, I don't know. It's it's not something I would want to play for, like, a really, really long time. At least not all the time. Not, not like this, where I'm just combing through the levels. Finding stuff I missed. Um, so, it definitely depends. And right now, I'm... I'm gonna be real, I'm like kind of putting off playing bigger games that I'm kind of excited to play uh, until I finish my new model. Do like a little... I think I want to have like an official debut of sorts, because I, I never really had one of those. And I didn't really know they were like a thing for VTubers to have a debut. Until I saw so many other people doing them and I was like, wait, I never did that. <laughs> I should do that, maybe. Surprised you didn't get a message saying I just subbed you? Oh, no, I, I did. It, it popped up on screen. Thanks so much. Unless, or, or did you mean like you typed a message? Cause yeah, no, 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 nothing popped up as far as like a type message. VTuber debut, that's cute. Like quinceaneras or VTubers or something. No, yeah, like, <laughs> it is kind of funny. It's like, hi, this, this is real. This is me. No, yeah, it, it definitely did pop up. Um, that sucks that you missed it. Uh, I'll say it again though. I was, I basically went, Master, oh my God, thanks, <laughs> thanks so much. I really appreciate that. You're a nutty buddy now. Um, and the little, the little gif popped up. It was pretty cute. Whoa, camera. Are you gonna ar archive your streams one day? See, I have a lot of them archived. Uh, a decent amount. Not obviously, I missed. I've missed a bunch. Like I didn't get my first stream with this model archived, which kind of sucks because I wasn't thinking ahead at all. Um, but a lot. All, they're all like unlisted right now because I haven't gotten around to like making the thumbnails. I mean, I guess I could, I could just put them up and not really care about the thumbnails at the moment. But I was like, I don't know, I feel like maybe I should have, like, a thumbnail template that I use. But I haven't gotten around to it. But it's on my to-do list. I need to finish my own VTuber icon at some point. I, I, I really like how a lot more people are doing VTubing. It's, it's cool. And it's cool seeing how different people do it. I, I know I want to, like... I really want to make these streams more... More unique, I guess. Like, I don't know. I feel like I, I don't have that much that fully sets my streams apart from, like, other people's. As far as, like, things that happen on it. Like, I, I, I do a lot of standard stuff. I don't want to have, like, a few more things that I can do that's like, yeah, I, I came up with that, and it's a fun little thing, or... <laughs> even even if it's not something I completely thought of. I do want to make these streams more... a little more interesting. I'm making bubbles, and the desk keeps wobbling. Makes it so hard. What? Be like... like, mixing soap? That's cool. <laughs> this stream is the press X the poop pants stream. 
That's my... That's my secret. My secret ability. <laughs> Can your other streamers do this? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you're drawing them? Oh. <laughs> bubbles. Here I thought you were like concocting a pot of bubbles. Drawing them still cool though. <laughs> Allergy check. 66%. It's not so bad. Up the long jump. These ones. Nice. Skyler's only six percent allergic. Yo, that might that might be the lowest today. <laughs> do other streamers do this? Explodes to a million pieces. I remember like getting stuck on this one, not knowing where to look. that way. Oh. Ooh. Spiral Vortex, thanks so much for the follow. Uh... <laughs> he's still in the 80%. 85%. Aren't there? I think there's some like under this. I don't remember. Maybe. I can't see though. Oh, no? Maybe I already got those. It's that one. Oh, yeah, there's those are under there. Oh, there's a bunch on there. Okay. Should I add a chew thing? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, like for allergies? <laughs> I don't think people sneeze when they have peanut allergies, though. Although, I wouldn't know. I think they, they just break out in hives and, like, can't breathe. <laughs> And I'm turning that into comedy. Because <laughs> I'm such a good person. I don't know, man. I feel like once you're... Once you've, like, been in this game and you know, like, I, I feel like all the levels that I'm remembering being annoying aren't that bad. It's just I was a kid and, like, I didn't know, like, oh, you should check under the little wooden plank thing. Don't you know that you're toxic? Sat on the star with such force. Ugh. <laughs> Once, when I was six years old, I sat on a banana, and of course, that changed my life. <laughs> I sat on a star, and that changed my life. Yahoo! Make a sound of people not breathing? Yeah, nah. We're keeping things light. We're keeping things light. Boop, 
Through the meteor storm. I love that. I, I love the little crouch spin move where you do like little break dance. <laughs> You can do the break dance, wait, the break dance into backflip combo, break dance, backflip spin. Mario so cool. <laughs> yeah, isn't this this planet? This is the one that has like uh, the Daredevil run, right? We have to beat it without getting hit once. Yeah, I remember having trouble with that one. Now. <laughs> Do I look up to anyone in life? Um, no one like super duper specific comes to mind at the moment. Um, what do I mean like yeah like I I look up to a bunch of like animators. Um, I look up to different people for different reasons. But I don't know I I haven't like no one comes to mind that I'm like yeah I want to be like just like them. You know? Okay, uh, yeah, I would, I would be like Keanu if I could. <laughs> I would want to be Keanu, but like if I could like increase my Keanu-ish, my Keanu-ishness by like a few percentages, a few percentage points, I, I, I would, I totally would. You're breathtaking! <laughs> yeah, like, I like those people... I, I like people who just, like... <clears throat> just seem like a good guy, like, all around. Good person. Like, I don't know. I don't know everything about Keanu Reeves, but, like, the vibe I get from him is that he's, like, a pretty chill, cool dude. Union, uh, Union Jackal 42, thanks so much for the follow. Whoa. Keanu's peak gender for me. <laughs> peak gender. Peak male gender, at least. Greetings, Union Jackal. Welcome. We're vibing, talking about how... Uh, okay, if you... If you could increase the percentage of yourself that was like... Like, more like Keanu Reeves. If you could increase your likeness, your similarities to Keanu Reeves by, like, a percentage, like, would you do it? Like, would you, like, let's say there's a button, and it's like, if you press this button, you'll be 10% more like Keanu Reeves. Would you press that button? I, I was saying I would press it. I would, I would become more like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Keanu made me question my sexuality. Oh my god. <laughs> Keanu's handsome, you know, he's, he's an attractive man. 
<laughs> gender envy as a cis male. <laughs> what? Two percent is the perfect amount of Keanu ness. I I reckon we could go higher. <laughs> we could go further. <laughs> I love this kind of shit. I love walking on like uh, this big old worm, lava worm. It looks like a worm. <laughs> Two Kiana would implode the earth. Uh, okay, you're you're thinking of like the world. You're you're being responsible. That's that's, that's probably smarter. <laughs> oh, and I gotta bring it across the worm. <laughs> Come on, baby. Hey, yo. That's so cool. I love that. If I were to be as attractive as Keanu, but not actually be Keanu, then yes. Yeah, yeah, like, you're not... You're not... Like, I wouldn't want to be Keanu. I wouldn't want to, like, actually be Keanu. But, like, if I could increase... My Keanu ishness, like by a few percentage points, like yeah, I would I think I would do it. <laughs> it's like a giant macaroni noodle that was overcooked. Yeah. Oh the ball one. Oh god, oh god. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, okay. My Joy-Con's like okay. Like under my desk, so I had to like pull it out. Yo, Dokizoid, hi! <laughs> Is it Dokizoid or Dokizoid? Should I just say Doki? Doki Doki? The Going for it. Full throttle. No stops. No stopping. Oh my god. No stops. No. Doki. Oh, okay. Kanu is in SpongeBob, which increases my liking from by 69%. Nice. Um, I heard the new SpongeBob movie wasn't good, though. I don't know, have, have any of y'all seen it? I, I like, I don't know. It's interesting, because I, I didn't like the second movie as much as the first one. I still thought it was good, though. Like, it was still a good movie. But I, I preferred the first one a lot more. Uh, but this one, I just flat out heard people saying it was bad. Like, not that good. Here we go. Full throttle. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 that was so close. I got two Switch games for my birthday. Bioshock Collection and Skyward Sword HD. Ooh, awesome. I've... I've got to... I'm really tempted to buy Skyward Sword HD. I have Skyward Sword. Doesn't think so much for the pet. I, I have Skyward Sword on the Wii. And I played it, but I only played it once. Way back when it came out. And like, I don't know. I don't want. I haven't played a Zelda game in a while, so I'm kind of very tempted to play it, and maybe play it on stream and just have it a thing like we come back to every now and then. Air stretch. Ah. Ow. Ah, I'm like so oh, no. sore today. I don't know why. The plot was bad, but the animation was good. Hmm. Yeah, like, I did like how it looked. So I've been hearing lately about the new Space Jam movie. Oh, some people have been saying it's bad. Okay, but here's the thing. And, like, hate me for this all you want, but the original Space Jam movie isn't... It's, it's not really that... It's, it's not really good. <laughs> it's not. I, I watched it, like, somewhat recently. And I was like, man, Michael Jordan's not a good actor, and... The story's not really that great. Oh, there it is, the Daredevil comment. 
I mean, obviously, it's, it's a charming movie. It's very charming. I remember watching it a butt-ton as a kid. But, like, is it a good movie? I don't know. Probably not. As far as, like, movie quality goes, it's probably not that good. But it's still, like, charming. I would still put it on. <laughs> but it's more like a fun movie than, like, a movie you're going to, to, like, get something out of. Space Jam was definitely a product of the time, but yeah. Yeah. It was a product of its time. I only became a Zelda fan two years ago, playing Ocarina for the first time, and two years later, almost played every game in the series. Yeah, Zelda's so good. I really gotta play some Zelda again. It's been so long. Especially since I played a traditional Zelda. Like, last Zelda I played was Breath of the Wild. And since then, I haven't really played a traditional Zelda. I almost got the Link's Awakening remake, but I played DX on my 3DS. So I was like, I don't really need to play this again. Uh, I don't know where I want to go. Purple coins. We could do... Let's just do the Melty Molten one. Let's just, let's just get it out of the way. <laughs> let's just get out of the way, the trickster one. Playing Ocarina on an original N64 is a magic experience. Oh, that's cool. I never had it on the N64. I played Mario 64 on the N64. Uh. But yeah. Never Ocarina of Time. I, I played it on the Wii and I couldn't beat it. And then I got it on the 3DS, the remake, and I beat that. Definitely in part thanks to like the hints that it gives you. Because like I remember being stuck in it on the Wii. I was like stuck in the, the forest temple for a long time. I'm gonna go now, but have a great night. Have a great night, Meowie. Thanks so much for hanging out. two days. The water temple on the 3DS really wasn't that bad. Because it's so much easier to swap um, between like having the iron boots on and having them off. And you always have the map in front of you. So like I actually didn't have that much trouble with the water temple on the 3DS. But I, I, I do think they redesigned it a little and made it a bit more flowing. It's like partially a pun, but also true. <laughs> Get it flowing. Oh. Oh. Wait, this is a little scary. Go. What? What? What even hit me? <laughs> Did I get hit by like the butt of the fire? Burn. Yeah, I'm risky. What of it? Check this out. Oh no! <laughs> the butt of the sun. Never escaped the water temple. I've never been in Majora's Majora's Mask. Uh, I got it on the 3DS also, because I played it on the Wii, I got up to the Stone Temple, uh, and then I got it on the 3DS, and oops, I don't know why, I didn't enjoy it as much on the 3DS. And then I never, I just never beat it. I feel like the 3DS, I don't know, they made things easier. 
in ways that almost kind of took away some of like the mystery of the game like they made it so you could see all your relationships with like all the townsfolk and you could keep track of things uh, I don't know something about that being so like easily like look lookable like viewable almost made it feel like less it made it feel less alive it made it feel like more like oh this is like a checklist of things I have to do rather than like Oh, I wonder what this townsperson is doing. Let me, like, follow them around. <laughs> or whatever. Like, let me stalk them. <laughs> um, so I almost didn't like that. And I don't like... I didn't like how they made the Zora swim slower. I don't know why. I just didn't feel as compelled to, like, try and beat it. Yes, free bank of Ocarina time. Let me try to draw major ass mask. Major ass mask. You know, underwear is kind of like a wrestling mask for your ass. You think about it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Underwear doesn't have holes. <laughs> what about the leg holes? Like those are the, those, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what the hell? No! <laughs> what? Mario kept on moving, or like my Joy-Con drifted or something. No. Alright, let's do it again. <laughs> it's my favorite level. In the game. First game I truly complete, complete, completed was Wind Raker for the GameCube. Yeah, I don't know if that's the first game I like beat, but like, I think that was the first Zelda game I beat. Might be wrong on that. I think it was. What am I on about? I'm just speaking the truth, okay? If you don't like it, then go back to your. Go back to your echo chambers. We're, we're talking about the truth here. Yeah, I don't know. That might have been drift, but it also might have just been... I, w I was, like, holding in that direction before I touched the stars. Maybe Mario was just, like, a couple of moving. I don't know. A little luck. Definitely a bit long. Wait. What if I... Huh, and then... And then I... Oh, no. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. Oh, God. No, I touched the sun's butt. The sun spot. Yeah, these, these are my second set of Joy-Cons. And they've, like, started to drift a little. Like, it's not all the time. It hasn't gotten that bad yet, but like they do drift a little bit. Only 43 lives left! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why am I getting worse? Only 42 now. It's my favorite Mario game. Um. Oh. Yeah, either Mario 64 or Mario Galaxy. Damn. Although, honestly, like, replaying Galaxy, it just makes me want to play Galaxy 2. <laughs> I feel like I've already. I think 
I like Galaxy. Galaxy One is a bigger place in my like nostalgia because it's it's the first one. I remember like getting it as a kid, playing through it, um, and I like I like the the atmosphere it has a bit more, the story compared to Galaxy Two. But playing through this again, I do think Galaxy Two is just like a better game. So it's a little hard. Are you getting worse? Are you getting tired or stressed? I feel like okay. A lot of times, yeah, I'll get I'll get far on like my first try. I don't know why. Then the second try, then I like I kind of start to overthink or I get impatient. <laughs> oh. When I should just be patient. But I get like impatient because I'm like, oh, I've already done this. Let me try out this cheese and like see if I can get through it quicker. And that usually screws me over. Cool. I don't think I've ever played a Mario Mario game. I've ever played a Mario game. The only games that have Mario in them, but Mario Mario games. Like Smash Bros? Mario games are so good. They're just fun. Oh my god. Excuse my rudeness, but are you a fish? <laughs> a lot of people think I'm a fish. No, I'm not a fish. I'm whatever you want me to be. Now that this character is basically some kind of cat, cat-like creature, wearing a nut helmet. Well, you'll be able to see. You, it'll be more apparent uh, when my next model's out for sure. Cause that one, you'll be able to take the helmet off. Mario Party games? Oh yeah. Mario Party's really fun. I love Mario Party. I think I, I like appreciate Mario Party more now. Kind of older. <laughs> Cause I like, I like how random it can be. Like I like that anyone can win. God, that was so close. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't need that. It's over here. Oh, I don't need that, but I'll take it. God. Uh. Woo. God. Oh. That was so scary. <laughs> Jack your Damia, man. It's gotta be no. Yeah, Mario Party with friends and family is, is really fun. I play with my, my little brother a lot. It's even fun, like, I mean, you need one person with you, but even if you only have two people, it's fun to play against, like, the really hard computers <laughs> and just get mad at them. I've only played Mario Party 9, so I'm excited for the new one. You only played Mario Party 9? Oh, wow. Hi, Hi Union Jackal. Yeah. If you've only played Mario Party 9, then you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Mario Party 9, the minigames are pretty fun. But that's like the one where you're in a car, right? 
a lot of people don't like that game because everyone's stuck in a car together and it's not really like the board game part is pretty lacking. Who pet me? Cambrian, thanks so much for the pet. Mario Party DS. Uh, Mario Party DS is one of my favorites. For sure. I love Mario Party DS. That was like peak Mario Party for me, I think. Where should we go? Let's go to Beach Bowl. It's the kitchen. The Mario Party is the Sonic one. <laughs> Sonic Shuffle. I've never played Sonic Shuffle, but I heard it was kind of ass. <laughs> Never understood putting a couch party game on a handheld. Well, the the genius thing about it was that you could play with download play. So like, as long as everyone had a DS, you could have people play, and you could like play it in a car ride. Like that's what me and my siblings would do. We would if we were like going on a trip, we would always play Mario Party DS in the car. And like having separate screens means you could play different kinds of games. Like games where you can like hide what you're doing and stuff like that. But it was basically like it was like a core Mario Party game. Like it, it was it wasn't much different from the normal ones. Just a, a bunch of touch game touch screen games and like microphone games. It was really cool. Yeah, always praise Mario Party 2 through and through. Mario Party 2 is so good. That one's so fun. I don't like how they like kind of got rid of chance time, like in the later games, or like it's there, but it's a lot harder to come across. I like chance time. I I think it's so funny. <laughs> it's so crazy. Play like Nintendo Land. Yeah, Nintendo Land is really fun. It was a bit like, it could be like a little bit harder, it, or at least it was in the beginning to like get like my parents to understand if I was trying to like get them to play. It's like, no, no, like don't look at the TV screen or like you can, but like you're, you have to look at this, the game pad, <laughs> you look at that. But like once they got it, like they had a lot of fun. If you want to graduate from the swimming class with ease, ask my friends for hints. Oh, uh, the swimming class. Oh, is that the penguins in this repute? Yeah, they're so cute. I love these penguins. They're like the Mario 64 ones, but like... Advanced. <laughs> this is... Enhanced penguin. You know about shell swimming? It's great. See, the shell does all the swimming for you. What do I have to do? A little odd how Mario's as tall as the penguin can stuff. Mario's so small. Mario's so small. Gotta collect shells in the ocean. Bring me the gold shell. It's an automatic A for you. Oh. But How do I start it? Is it already just going on? It's right there. I'm just gonna just take it. Easy. That was very easy. Is that the whole level? Wii U is bad optics, should have named it something else. Yeah. That's the whole level? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, everyone thought it was an expansion device. It didn't help uh, that there was also 
Are you even one of my students? Uh, uh. Remember that took me forever to do. Uh. <laughs> well, I've played this game a lot. And I'm, I'm a pro gamer, so, you know. There was this other, like, drawing tablet thing that came out for the for the Wii called the U-Draw. So, it, that also didn't help, because I remember being a little confused, being like, wait, is the U-Draw, like... Part, part of the Wii U, or, or like what? And I was even I was confused at first. I was like, wait, is it a Wii? What? Like the reveal they did was very confusing. I had that? Yeah. Yeah. The, also, the U draw was pretty bad too. <laughs> Isn't that a bit redundant to have a drawing thing for the Wii U? No, it was for the Wii. It was like, it was basically like, uh, like a Wacom tablet without a screen, but for the Wii. Yeah, and it came out like, like, pretty late into the Wii's lifespan. So like, kind of close to, oh my god, I only have a minute. <laughs> kind of close to when like, the Wii U was gonna come out. Ugh. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's get all the coins. I have all this gamer knowledge. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Alright, we got this in the bag. I think. Oh no! <gasps> Two more! Ah. There you go. Speedrun strats. I just want to get. Oh wait. Oh, I have to touch the star. Okay. <laughs> I went on IGN and was like, God, this is getting really hard. I want to do this steal from a child? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the penguin level. Yeah, I was just like, can I just take it? Like, it was, it was really easy. Alright, I want to do, like, an actual level here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Secret undersea cavern. The secret tunnel. There it is. Did I ever play Elibits? Oh, that's a deep memory. I never, I never played Elibits, but I remember hearing about it and like seeing it at like the games, uh, the GameStop like kiosks and junk, and like kind of wanting it. But um... oh, and they had a, they had a DS game for it too. I played like the DS demo. Ow, what? I can see that. I remember playing the DS like demo, like kind of wanting it, but that was when like I didn't have any money. Ow. Why did that hurt me? What? The coin. I need money. Money to heal me. Should have re-released Skyward Sword for the Wii U since the game was developed in HD. So they downscale it to run on the Wii, and the Wii U could have handled it in HD. Yeah, but then... I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. Did they develop it for HD? I feel like the whole point of the art style was that it wasn't in HD. I kind of believe you.
Like, a lot of the textures they made for that game, I, I saw a review of it, uh, like, this morning by, uh, Narrow. He's a really cool YouTuber. I, I really like his videos. Um, they kind of pointed out, like, a lot of the textures in the game aren't... They don't look like they were made for HD. <laughs> They're very, like, uh, old. Okay. Blah, textures, video games. I'm a gamer. Ow. Ow. Ow, what the? <laughs> I just want to jump on the bat. Wait. Oh, that was so close. Secret tunnel. That's cool. Yeah, okay, for now, have fun. Bye, my root. Thanks so much for hanging out. You have an awesome Tuesday. Awesome Tuesday. Oh my god. Can I make it over there? Okay, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. No. <laughs> Crest for the first 3D Zelda for Switch. Well, they only. The 3D Zelda game you could play on the Switch right now is Breath of the Wild or Skyward Sword. And they're very different games. Breath of the Wild's open world. Skyward Sword's like very linear. But like. And much more focused on the story. But it has really good puzzles. Um, yeah, very different games. God, I didn't know that he was gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, I remember the speedy version of this level. It was in HD at E3 2010, and there were screenshots of it in HD. Really? Huh. I remember that. What am I doing? I remember that E3. I remember being so hyped for Skyward Sword, but I remember, like, the reveal for it, how they had, like, all those issues with the controls, because, um, okay, I gotta stop trying that. <laughs> they, they had issues with the controls because, like, people's cell phones were, like, there's so many cell phones in the room that it was, like, disrupting the, the Wii's, like, sensors or whatever. So the game looked like really, really awful, which like sucked. And it was like, I think it was like one of their last like live, one of Nintendo's last like live presentations. Yeah, seriously, that's like that's like how it got revealed. Like Miyamoto came out, he's like, I'm gonna do a live demonstration of like this gameplay because I'm super duper proud of it. Uh, and it looked so bad, like he was swinging and like nothing was happening, or like his sword was like going all crazy, and it was like, uh, hmm. So it made the game look like really bad. Which sucked. Imagine that, like you worked so hard on this thing, and you're really proud of it, and like your big presentation to the world of it just gets like fucked up like that. Like, you gotta feel bad. <laughs> oh. uh, uh. <laughs> He's way too confident. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like, you know, you have to put on a show. If you're showing something to that many people, like, showing it at the next installment in a franchise that, like, millions of people have played and love, you gotta be confident when you're showing the next thing. You can't be like, uh, so, uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna like this, but, um, like, uh, this, this is the thing I worked on. Like, no, like, you have to be like, all right, guys, are you ready for this? <laughs> Maybe not like a hype, you don't have to be like a hype man, but like, I feel like you have to be, you do have to appear confident in your work. He <laughs> would have said Mamma Mia. That would be really embarrassing. We actually were showcasing a way older build of the game. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah. But then, and then what happened? I, cause I would like watch the videos 
uh, of the demos on the show floor, and those were all working fine. So people people were like, okay, on the show floor, the game did work. So like, it wasn't like completely destroyed out of the gate, but that was a thing. Ooh, what is this? Fast Faux Comet? Oh, that's the one. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I want to go to the Ghost of the Galaxy. Hype Man Miyamoto. <laughs> Hype Beast. Miyamoto has a Twitch streamer. That'd be funny. You could use like his uh you could use his puppet. The puppet Miyamoto that turned into Fox McCloud. <laughs> Boldergeist. This is the one I wanted to play. I love Boldergeist. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. Back in 2010 when streams were 480p, 30. Did they have, like, streams back then? Like, was Twitch... When did Twitch become a thing? Like, has Switch been around for 10 years? <laughs> yup, but it was like, oh my god. Live stream rather than Twitch? I remember using a emote, the most jank setup to stream Pokemon Solo with my friends. Wow. So you're like an OG. <laughs> uh, Elko, -O, thanks so much for the follow. For the follow, whoa. Well. Apparently it was called Justin.tv in 2007, but then turned to Twitch in 2011. Justin.tv? Who was Justin? <laughs> I guess the creator of Twitch. Oh, what? Why is there a toad in there? Oh, I know that. I know that. I love Bomboos. Bomboos are so cool. Like, I don't know, I love characters that have, like, uh, like, black skin with, like, uh, glowy eyes. Like, that's, like, one of my favorite character designs. <laughs> I don't, I don't care. You, you do that to a character, I'm gonna be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just in TV. Wait. Oh. Wait, that's so funny. Like, this just in. Bamboos are so hyper, yeah. I love, I also love this game because you get to be uh, Boo Mario. I think Boo Mario is like one of my favorite Mario cards. I like being a Boo. I like being scary. Even though it's like not the most useful. I think that was one of the things I was most disappointed about in Mario Galaxy 2. They only had one level with uh, Boo Mario, and it was a 2D level, and I was like, what? No! Mario has so many YouTuber outfits. <laughs> oh, I really want them to do that. They should make Mario VTuber before... This sounds like bad, but like before... Charles Martin A is like too old. You know? Cause like he's done he's basically done like VTube stuff before. If you've seen those videos, where they have like those little um like kiosks where like you can talk to Mario and it's like it's basically a VTuber. But it'd be cool if like they let Charles Martin A do like a live stream or something. Uh Icy, thanks so much for the host. Oh. 
So the Sonic VTuber post a few weeks ago. Mario's got to join in on the fun now. Yeah! They had a Sonic one. Like, Mario's got to do it. And that'd be so good. Yeah, Charles Mario playing Mario Odyssey with Mario VTuber. Wait, there's like something over there. What? Is that like a secret? Or is that where I'm supposed to go? I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to like shoot myself that way. <laughs> See if I could just shoot myself. You know. No. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Let me in. Let me in. Ah, uh, this part's cool. Oh. Oh. Yo! Mario! Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, plus, like, Charles Martinet is such a good... He's such a good actor in general, like... He's able to come up with stuff, like, as those characters, like, on the fly. So, like, that would be awesome. He totally could. I don't know how long he can do, like, the Mario voice for. I mean, I think he could do it for, like, a good amount of time. There's, like, this video of him reading a story on YouTube. Uh, he's, like, reading a Mario... Mario Bros, like, uh, picture book. And he reads through it doing, like, Mario's voice for, like, most of the story. But like, yeah, there was a point he's like, do I have to read this whole thing? And they were like, yeah. And he was like, he's like, okay. I'll take a one-up. I'm going pro game a little bit. Oh yeah, and he also wanted to play Link. He was like, nah, bruh. Because they wanted Link to be, uh, handsome. <laughs> well, Charles Mario, you know, he is handsome. I can't imagine, like, his normal voice as Link, though. That sounds funny. I think this is, like, one of the coolest Mario bosses. Ugh. Yeah, this this boss took me forever too. But yeah, I think I think just like getting older and then playing these games again, you just realize like, wow, I was just I think I was just bad at, at video games, <laughs> which is like fine, which is cool. And the boss is still cool. Yo, like that's so cool. Oh. oh my god. 
Yeah, I think this boss is in Galaxy 2 also, like, there's a, uh, yeah, there's like, one Galaxy where it's like, you have to fight a bunch of the old bosses, and this is one of them. You made it the last boss in Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's Nintendo's favorite boss design. Big head with big hands. <laughs> Floating head hand man. It took me two hours to beat the Daredevil version of this boss. Yeah, same. I don't know how long it took me, but I remember it took me a really long time. Water. What's that? 92? And there's 120 total. Let's check the map. Uh, we could go to freeze. Please blame. I think I'm gonna get to like 95 stars and then I'll probably call it quits for today. There's like a bunch of like just regular levels I haven't gotten to. That one, that one, that one. That one. I guess we could do those. We'll go to Freeze Flame. I'm gonna head out. Have a good night, Jacket. Good night, I'm you. Thanks for chilling. You have a good night yourself. I always play the second game of a series before the first. Only thing, only game I think I've done that with that I can think of right now is Pac-Man World 2. I thought I was able to catch the least video stream. I was busting tail again, like class and stuff right here. He's been acting busy. Yeah, thanks so much for coming by. I'm really glad you could. But that's really cool. Is your is the classroom all set up? Or do you still have a bit more to do? Met any teachers that like live? <laughs> Have you met any teachers that like live inside the school? <laughs> I remember thinking that as a kid. I was like, don't the teachers live in the school? <laughs> Whoa! Come on, you gotta, you gotta let me know if it's true. Got some more work to do. It's pretty much ready for the most part. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no, what did I do? I'm stuck. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh what? So I used to be that teacher? There's one who's legit there all the time. Yo. The rumor's true. <laughs> Confirmed by Doki. Couple of mine lived in the beds. <laughs> Yo, I just saw Mrs. Green Blueby um vent. <laughs> oh no. No! I forgot the water killed me. <laughs> Imagine you just pull up to school and your teacher just drops out of the vent. <laughs> oh my god. Like Scissorman from Clock Tower. Ooh. That's a deep memory. 
I never played that game, but uh, there was like this YouTuber that I used to watch like his videos. Uh, I think it was called like Who Is This Git or something, and he, he used to make videos called like Creepy Bad Game Endings, and he would basically just go through the entire story of a game that had like a creepy or bad ending. And I remember that was one of the games he went through, and I, I watched through like the whole thing, and I was like, this game's so creepy and scary. It's, it's basically like this uh, old SNES game. Um, but like, you're in a old clock tower building, and like there's this dude with a giant pair of scissors that like follows you around. For those of you who don't know. But I used to like watch those videos like super late at night. Literally at like midnight till like 3 in the morning. I'd be watching... Uh, scary, creepy, bad video game endings. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Don't ask me why I did that. I, I really don't know. I used to watch loads of, loads of creepy stuff at night before I went to bed. Yeah, spooky game endings were like catnip for middle school. Me. Yeah, like, literally. I, like, I need this. I need this. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> Wednesday, since we were virtual pretty much the whole year, we'd hop on after class and do virtual recess. I'd invite my kids and we all played Among Us together pretty much every recess. Wait, that's so fun. That's so cool. Oh. Among Us. That's actually really smart and actually really, probably really good because... <laughs> like, kids need to, like, make friends with other people in their class. And, like, when you're at home, just on your computer all the time, there's, like... Doing virtual class is probably like barely any ways to like make new friends. So that's that's really cool that you did that. Clock Tower was revolutionary for the hard genre. Yeah, it was like one of like the first like horror games of that type. Cool. Came up before Resident Evil. Yeah, it was a it was a uh, a SNES game, SNES. So like. Resident Evil was PS1, so I'm pretty sure it came out before. Yeah, Scissor Man is scary. And like the music that plays when he shows up. Like that that was like one of the creepiest parts to me. It was like a creepy like horror sting. Oh, what the hell? That was tough for everyone, so you know the little things like that really make a huge difference in the service room. I have to like, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my god. Me and the boys roll into McDonald's. That's how I'd be going to McDonald's late at night. 2 a.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> I see, thanks for the bet. What's up, Zabwax? <laughs> Hi. Balls. Me and the boys become balls. <laughs> <laughs> I probably look like that after what I ate for dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's more accurate to say me and the boys after we come back from our 2 a.m. McDonald's run. <laughs> Rolling up. Do not order the Big Mac at 3 a.m. challenge. <laughs> Oh, wait, I got it. No. Wait, this is the start. What? Nani? Oh. 
Oh. Oh yeah, I went around the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is a cool level. Camera. Camera, come on, turn around. Oh my god, okay. Fog. Did they really have an Among Us Happy Meal? Did they? They should. <laughs> Those toys would probably be so easy to make, too. Whoa. 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 And so many people would want them. Like, just for the meme. And, like, kids would want them just because it's Among Us. And, like, I would want one just so I have an Among Us. <laughs> they should. I gotta. I don't know how long it takes to get like your your toy or whatever made into a kid's meal, but like if I were inner sloth, I would totally say yes if that was offered. Like, that'd be so cool. Oh, I should have gotten the Wait. Yo! Oh. Yo! Okay, I made it. Edward personally delivered me an Among Us Happy Meal with a kiss on the cheek. Who's Edward? Is Edward one of the creators? Yeah. Yeah, Speedrunner moment. Uh, my voice is getting kind of tired. It doesn't help that my, neck, my neck's all sore. So yeah, let's see. Ooh, speedy dusty dune. That sounds kind of fun. There's some more water. You don't know who Edward is from Arcade Craniacs? No. I don't know that. I haven't heard of Arcade Craniacs. My thought, whenever I hear Edward, my, my mind immediately goes to the vampire <laughs> from Twilight. Sam Blast Speedrun. Elric, yes. Team Edward or Team Jacob? Um, I haven't seen the whole thing. Or read the whole thing. Uh, but I was definitely Team Jacob. <laughs> so I was like, werewolf? That's way cooler. <laughs> Werewolves are way cooler than vampires. I don't care what you say. Oh, this is one of the coolest parts in the game, but... Like, that's just so cool. Like, gravity. Uh, love it. Love it. Jacob Sim. Yeah, what of it? <laughs> Although, I know what I've heard from my friends uh, is that uh, something happens where Jacob, like, imprints on. Uh, like Belle's daughter or something and I'm like what? like I just heard that from my friends like that's something that happens in Twilight and I was just like what? <laughs> what do you mean? which makes me question that so 
Yeah, I'm like, who writes this? Who, what is, like, what? Like, they had, like, a soul bond or whatever. I was like, what are you, that is a baby. Like, you were talking about a baby. Like, where am I supposed to go? Daughter ages up fast, so it's justified. I don't, I don't care about that. That's, that's like that whole anime thing. It's like, oh, they're, they look like they're 12, they, like, they look like they're seven years old, but it's okay, because they're actually 2,000. It's like, well, why do they look like they're seven years old? <laughs> why are you attracted to that? Like, <laughs> I ain't about it. It's, it's still weird. It's still very weird. Here come the Twilight stands coming to kill me. <laughs> they were 3,000 year old dragons, so, um. It's a little. Like. I don't know. Give me a. Give me a 3,000 year old dragon that looks like. Not like she's. Like. Eight years old. <laughs> what? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, I have to hit the switch. Right, and then go there. If I were a 3,000 year old dragon, I would simply look my age. <laughs> I would simply look like a tattered bag of bones. <laughs> if I were a 3,000 year old dragon, I would simply look like a dragon. Like, being a dragon would be awesome. So to say it's just fighting their eyes as a person just like it. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> no! You're kidding me. <laughs> Mario, the one time Mario couldn't jump far enough. No! No! Oh well, <laughs> that's a lie. I'd definitely rather look like a super badass dragon all the time than a seven year old. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Dragons are cool. I watched Dragon Tales, like exclusively for the dragons. I was like, dragons are cool. I could care less about these two kids, but like the dragons are cool. <laughs> do, 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 do. Good evening. Uh, I I pisk I pisk. Oh no! Did I miss the? Oh, this is bad. Missing a lot of the stuff. This one. The chest one. And, uh... This one. Right. No! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> I just said if Pisk was taken. Oh, <laughs> like, I am Pisk. Dragon Tail stream when? Does Dragon Tails have a video game? That'd be kind of funny. I wasn't actually like that crazy into Dragon Tales. I, I would just watch it when it was on. I, I knew like a bunch of people that were like obsessive. Bro. Like if you asked me to name all the dragons, I would not be able to. the kid form to get kids meal discounts. <laughs> That's smart. Cool. Wait. Why does this feel different? I don't remember. Maybe my, my memory is just being stupid. Okay. I remember this.
thing is, I don't think a dragon could sustain itself off of, like, kid-sized proportions. I think... I think they should give... Uh... They, they should give toys with the adult meals as well. <laughs> Try and long jump over that. I want my Among Us Happy Meal toy. But I also want, uh, you know, I want a big burger. <laughs> it was on with someone to watch it's a battle. I remember. Yeah, I think I remembered the song the most. Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, more than Dragon Tales. Let's all go to Dragon Land. Mission for adult toys and oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> adult toys. Like jackhammers. And uh fountain pens. Right, looks like I'm done with this place for now. I should have my Lucaria Figma and eat my burger too. <laughs> I'll take a power drill with my number 13. Now that's rock and roll McDonald's. Alright, one more star. Which shall it be? I should have looked at the map. I don't know what I'm doing. Gotta keep it. <laughs> Gotta keep it somewhat PG. I'm more like PG. I don't even know. Am I PG? I say like fuck and stuff. That's not PG. <laughs> I'm like above PG 13, but I don't know if I'm R. I guess I'm R. Am I R? I'm rated R. We're rated R. Technically, I think. Like, I think swearing. Yeah, if you swear a bunch, you become an R-rated movie. Last star of the stream. <laughs> Play limit fuck to once every 90 minutes, right? Is that how it works? Okay, that's Joy-Con Drift. Why is... Now it stopped. But he was just walking off the cliff. The only thing I think of when I hear this song is Royale High on Roblox. My sister used to play it constantly and I have to hear it all the time. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm PG-13. I'm PG-13, probably, but with, like, some exceptions. We can go to the new galaxy. I think that's one of the ones on, like, the green thing. Yeah, let's go to that. Why not? It's kind of crazy how Roblox just, like, can get away with, uh, using, like, all these songs. Like Nintendo stuff. I mean, I guess like I can also because that's what I do. I use like Nintendo songs for my background music. But it, it's just funny that it's like in a in a game technically. What's this one? No, I already did that one. Bubble blast. I think that's the one I haven't done. Oh. oh no! This is. I'm not doing this. This is 100% just my Joy Con. Alright, yeah. Pitbull just uh, tone it down. Like. <laughs> no spammy. Bubble Blast sounds like Brain Blast! I love Hugh Neutron. Mark DiCarlo. Very cool, man. He made Hugh Neutron say trans rights. It was pretty good. He was talking about pie also, and I was like, yeah. This is the way. I think I got the one in 20,000 plus Joy-Cons, because I never had to deal with Joy-Con Joe. You and, like, one other person was saying that this stream. 
This is my second pair of Joy-Cons, too, which is makes it even more annoying. I remember this level's a little crazy. Oh yeah, the video of Hugh sending Jimbo to the Shadow Room. The uh, looks like you're going to the Shadow Room, Jimbo. It's right down the street next to the Chick Fil A. <laughs> Wait, which one was that? Was that the top one? I gotta like. Okay, I think that was the top one. It's like carbon dioxide is building up. I think as a kid, I was, like, really bad at these levels, because I thought that you had to, like, always be holding down the A button to make yourself go. So I would just like, be like, ah, ah, I can't stop, ah! and, like, <laughs> like, just, like, run into stuff all the time. Like, it took me a while to realize, like, oh, wait, you could just, like, tap. You could just, like, lightly, lightly tap the button and, like, blow yourself a little. Honestly, I think, like, realizing you don't have to, like, run and go full throttle all the time is what makes these games easier. It's like, wait, I could literally just stand still for a second and, like, be fine. <laughs> but, like, as a kid, like, you're just like, I gotta go. I just gotta go all the time. You don't have any patience. <laughs> or not a lot of them. Gotta go fast. Yeah, real Chads always hold down A. I'm not a Chad, though. <laughs> I'd be doing the Virgin Mario. A blessed father who's born of the Virgin Mario. So hold the Super Nintendo controller upside down and play pretty well that way. What? That's crazy. This one you gotta go, like, through the fire. End the flames, and then back. Here we go. Oh. Uh, I wonder if I could have made that. I think I could have. You'll never finish Mario Galaxy with half an A-press with that attitude. That's one of my favorite videos ever. Watch for rolling rocks in half an A-press. If you guys haven't seen that, I have to I have to show you guys that someday. That's such a good video. I think you have to do this whole level, like, without dying, too. I think. Maybe not. Oh my god. That was kind of risky. I don't know why I want these coins, but I do. Whoa! 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 This is, like, the hardest one. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've seen it, gonna have to watch it now. <laughs> it's it's an S tier video. One of the best videos on YouTube, I think. It's a trip though, it's like a long video, it's like 25 minutes or something like that. Have I played the new Mario Golf yet? Uh no, I haven't. Is there a demo? I might try the demo. But like, I don't know. Something about Mario Golf, like, never really... 
struck me as something I was like, I need to get this. No. <laughs> I don't I don't play a lot of golf games, I guess. And I haven't played any of the other Mario Golf games, so I'm like, I don't know, golf? Like, do I wanna play golf? Like, or am I gonna get bored of it? Like, I don't know. Come on. No, I just wanna get the one up. What video? Uh, I'm talking about. This is a video called uh, "Watch for Rolling Rocks" in uh, in Half and A Press. <laughs> I don't know if that's like the full title, but like that's the main gist of the title. Right, we're gonna go speed run mode. We're gonna go gamer mode. Ugh. Speed run. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Speedrun gamer. Gotta check this out. One up. Uh, oh. God. oh my god. <gasps> no! No, I hit the. T <laughs> I hit the. <laughs> The ground found button. No. <laughs> All right, now we're going true gamer. Let's try and do that again. I have to redeem myself. My finger is really far away from the ground found button now. Z, ZL button. Oh. Oh. I feel like a gamer. Focus. 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 Run, run. Up. Up. Oh. Gamer. Absolute grace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So that's 95. Which means only 25 more stars to go. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> well, that was my galaxy. Play some more of that some other time. Um, what was I gonna say? Thanks for the pets, are we good? Uh, I was thinking next stream. I'll, I'll say something about it in the Discord server for sure. But next stream, I, I might want to do another uh, community night thing where we play like Smash Bros or Mario Kart or whatever. Because uh, now I don't have to worry about it not working. But yeah, stick around for the raid. I'm gonna look for someone to raid right now. Oh, sync streaming. Oh, sync streaming, yeah. <laughs> we can raid sync. Why not? Why not? Oh, sync streaming with like uh with like Chris and I'm not sure who the other other two people are, but uh oh yeah, they're doing like a whole like little uh little collab thing. That's fun. That should be fun to watch. All right, but yeah, thanks so much guys for chilling, hanging out. This was fun. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. Yeah, they're doing like a whole otter collab. It's like all the otter VTubers. Probably not all of them, but like solid handful, big chunk of them. <laughs> um, oh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat like a big ass burger, and I'm gonna enjoy it. So I hope you guys do something similar. 
uh, or just, you know, chill around, stick around, chill out in a sync stream. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> See you guys next time. Let's go! Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've hit the raid button. I almost didn't hit the raid button. Alright, we're gonna raid. Uh, let's make the... I don't know, what should the raid message be? Let's make the raid message your, your, uh, your otter attack, but with the gun, you know? Your otter attack. Alright. <laughs> with the gun. Alright, see you guys. Peace. Raiding now.